Hello, Hello everyone. Welcome in. 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 What you say? I'm trying. My head looks crazy today. Oh, okay. Well, welcome in, everybody. What? In Knitting Terrorist, <laughs> welcome to the um, Butterfly Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, guys. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome to the Jennifer Vesey Show. Lord is killing it, y'all. Welcome in. <laughs> welcome in. Oh. You know, when, know when it's, when it's not I'm your channel. With Butterfly Dreams Crochet. <laughs> I'm Melissa. And, I'm with Melissa and I don't like pink. <laughs> Who are you? I said, I said, I said, I'm B, but I don't like pink. <laughs> where's your pom pom? Oh, where's your pom pom? Oh. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> and I don't like being and I had a pink pom pom. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay, Jen, welcome in Ivy and Jen and Roberta and Margaret G and Angie and Quilty Crocheter and Carol. Welcome in, everybody. Okay, hey, welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. Yes, yes. Oh my goodness, what day today? I know, oh, right? I'm just telling you. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. I thought they were going to be easy cup? today. But What's on your what'd, you, what'd you say? I said I thought they were going to be like an easy and nice day, but no, it's oh, rush, 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 rush. Same here. Yeah. yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I had to uh, take something for this head hurt. I would like to welcome Gina from the Knitting Turnpike to the Butterfly Squad. Woo! Thank you. Woo! Yay! Hello. Hello, Miss Vicky. Hello, Miss Vicky. Vicky. Hello, Miss Vicky. Delightfully stitched. Ivy. Welcome, welcome. Jen Rives, welcome. Hello, Maribel. Let me put you on my other account. Oh, one virtuous there woman. Go. Go. Jeannie Boo. Roberta. Miss Margaret. Angie. Miss Linda. Quilty Crocheter. Carol Clark. Flip Flops and Lollipops. I love that name. Me too. Chanclas and Lollipops. Chanclas. <laughs> John, me and Marcel, Mar um, <laughs> Marcel, one virtuous woman. Welcome in, Maribel, Sabrina, Beverly Lee Creates. Welcome in, Miss Beverly Lee Creates, formerly the Paper Diva. Well, she says she's got her pen and her pad, and she is ready for it tonight. All right, yes. go ahead that. and say Maribel, Veronica. Welcome, Maribel. There you there go. You go. <laughs> roll those R's. I love to hear them R's roll. Welcome oh. in, Miss DJ. You went to get some tea. All I heard was laughing before I even heard a hello. I went hello, to get me in here. I'm ready Look. now. Bring it on. <laughs> Look at Linda. Look at Linda. Now she's going to say my name. She said, hello, Super Magenta B. Linda. Don't let me change my name again. Hello, She's sweet leaving Linda. Pink. <laughs> she changed it to her non-favorite color for everybody else. Ooh. Oh, gosh. Magenta. I tell you, you what, know. I have so many eggs gathered up between their lives. All that cackling they was doing. Oh, oh no. That, when you said that, it went over my head until later when we were talking in the chat. And I'm like, did she go outside and get eggs? What was she talking about? She was like, no, girl. Oh, the last time that Ursula, I mean, um, that they were all doing oh, on these yes. channels. She was like, the hens were cackling. I was like, oh, <laughs> the hens, the eggs. Duh. Oh, gosh. Duh. Oh, gosh. You know, everybody like that when a chat. bunch of women are laughing and cackling, it's like a bunch of old hens laying <laughs> eggs. <laughs> Because V had messaged later and said, Yeah, I don't like Walmart eggs. I was laughing. <laughs> I don't, you're not I talking don't, about Walmart I, eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I know 
she's talking about that that the farm eggs but i said i don't like farmers so, well well the eggs from walmart that come from the farm <laughs> but anyway i don't like it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. One of my Make friends. Make sure y'all hit the she, thumbs uh, up, everyone. Yeah, hit the thumbs. Yeah, she she asked me. I said, "You want some eggs?" And I said, "Yeah, why not?" When she bring in, there was those brown eggs, and I said, "Okay, wait a minute. Where did this has come from?" And she said, "From my farm." Okay. Mm. And Melinda said like, she has finished her blanket. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, yeah, see the picture. Yes. Her granny Woohoo. Yeah. Um, and I'm just like, okay. So later on, I, I mean, I take it and say, no. But I know my mother in law, she loved those eggs. I said, you want some eggs? <laughs> I mm. give it to her because I not, nobody in my family eat those eggs. The brown so, eggs, I won't even try yeah, them. I'm I sure love, about. I love fresh eggs. Mm -mm. They make the best <gasps> no. cake. Do they? Yeah. <laughs> uh, hi, Rita. Welcome, Emma. Rita Pacheco. Rita, Rita you got to email me um, your address, sweetie. And welcome in, Rita. Hi, <laughs> oh, Linda. Margaret, welcome, everyone. Fresh welcome, eggs welcome. Are the best. We get ours from our neighbors yeah. and my son. I know. Yeah, but not for me. I pass. You know, I Even mean, though all they do is take I'm, them from the farm, put them in crates for you. And then you buy them. That's what she said. She said she don't know why because she knows the eggs that she gets from the store is from raised. And the thing <laughs> is, I... welcome in, Nisi Rita. Welcome in, Nisi. Well, the thing is, from the farm, they more the strong. Okay, Nisi, sounds great. And and I'm just like, no. Nah. And even my husband, he's like, no, mm, no. Nah. Nah. They more like yellow, and I just oh no. Mm -mm. I can eat those. Mm -mm. I don't think I've ever had any no. right off the farm, so. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is that link for? That link right there is the video for the Mr. Yarn Bags. It'll be pinned at the top Ooh. if anyone is interested in purchasing one. Go watch the video. Um, I'm selling them. Veronica's selling them. And Whichever way to go, Melissa <laughs> selling them. Melissa. So, and Mary, I know I Margaret. Is. Yes, you got yeah. it so fast. She got it quick. That's what I was trying to find. My I receipt. know. I because in my well, mine they said probably by today or Monday. I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna no. tell you what Mary Bell was supposed to get her. Look what VJ what just happened? said. Trying to find the diamond I threw out the back door, thinking it was a crystal from my grandbaby's costume. It was a diamond from the wedding set my late husband designed for me. Oh, okay, you need to so find so VJ. Sorry. You have to find that. <laughs> I wish so that was close. I would go help you. I know. Exactly. Girl, don't be oh, out of here. Go find that diamond. <laughs> exactly. I would see. The priority mail system went down, so I don't have dates on when some of them are supposed to be delivered because the system wow. went down, so they couldn't give me the dates. Yeah. Oh, okay. But um. Oh, that's okay, Rita. That's okay, sweetie. No worries. So I don't uh, know. Jen, I don't know when yours is gonna be delivered either. Oh my goodness. Vicky said brown eggs do have more yellow yolk. And hold on, who but just I said um, to be Monday? Huh? Nothing. And you got yours today. That's amazing. I mean, I got hers quick. Yeah. I had one hey, Sabrina. Yours is being delivered to your house because I know you. It'll sit at the post office a month before you go get it. <laughs> It'll get sent back to the sender. I don't know who sent me something. <laughs> it got sent back to the. Center. I don't. I don't know. I mean, that that is true. I'm not checking the the. the uh, Girl, that shipping costs right too much to get it sent back to the center nowadays. You gotta check. No. Miss yeah. VJ says she's in the yard with the vacuum, and the neighbors think she's cool. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 I hope you find oh it. God. 
Oh, I hope you find it too. Oh, oh my God. Yes. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> Sabrina, sweetie. Ooh, I know I lost why? one out of my wedding set and I just had to go replace it because where I lost it, I have no idea. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I uh, said, I'll give you <sighs> floodlight and be on my hands and knees. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it's from her late husband. I got a too, question. So it has a lot more sentimental values to it. Oh, she got a question. You better be telling her in the chat, not for me. You know, I'm bad if with questions. You, if you do not know how to read a pattern, chart, or graph, leave a thumbs up in the chat. Don't be shy because that's what we're here for to teach you tonight. So. Leave it a thumbs up free. in the chat if you do not know how to read a pattern or a chart or a graph. Because some people can read patterns but not graphs and charts. Flip flop and lollipops. Flip flops and lollipops. Listen, ladies, I'm excited to learn tonight too. Because I can't, certain things I don't know, and I'm excited and waiting to learn. Yeah, because I haven't always been able to read a pattern. Crochet done my way with Wanda. Welcome in. Welcome in, Wanda. Welcome Let me show in. you this, uh, in my community, um, Janie. Not good. Mm -hmm. I better go so my family won't <laughs> cry. Is that cry? You can't tell the emoji. VJ says she's not good with graphs. What are you? What just happened? Okay. Oh, I'm trying to that. share. Um, I'm trying to share. Jane. Oh, starve. There we go. Sorry, I see the drooling now. But you enjoy your dinner, Rita. You enjoy your dinner. Yes. You get, I know you cook something delicious. I cooked hamburgers Ooh. and tater tots. I did an Ooh, easy dinner so tonight because it was people here doing, you know. So I made some Parmesan noodles with some chicken nuggets and french fries. That was dinner. It's like a kid dinner yeah. for a grown man. <laughs> okay, I shared you in my community so that way everybody can Ms. find Margaret you. Ms. Margaret says she loves working on the chart. Too, thank she you. makes a doily better than a written pattern. And Jen yeah, says I like, I like you to browse. Miss Linda, you had yeah. southern fried chicken. Who sent you some southern fried chicken from the south? <laughs> Flip flops and lollipop says she bought an advent calendar yarn set, but the pattern came in a graph. Is it a graph with? A pattern design on it, or is it a diagram? Yeah, because there's a diagram. Great. That's really easy. Did you buy it, it offline? Um, flip flops and lollipop. Yeah. Yeah, because if you don't know how to read a graph, they should at least give you maybe two options, like the you know. Come on. And Sabrina says she likes tutorials oh, and right, graphs. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but they're so. She says she's on her way to Alabama for her chicken. Come on. <laughs> Bring it. Come on. She waiting oh for you. God. Okay. I'm sharing you out too, sis, real quick. Yeah, I shared it too. Whoops. I might end up having to connect to my phone. If this goes out, that's what I'll do. Sabrina had, had green filled pork meat with beans, Spanish rice, and some pineapple. Pineapple oh, agua, agua fresa. Agua fresa. Agua fresca. Agua fresca. It's like a fresh water. It's like a um. It's kind of like a juice, but they make it with an uh, um. Natural, like like you have watermelon, put it in a blender with water. And put a little bit of sugar and put it in a blender, and you have your agua fresca, like I mean, fresh water with the flavor. Mm. 
like a fruit flavor. That's really good. Yeah. Ooh, they're really good. Yeah. Well, I made a cucumber and tomato Ooh, salad that's why tonight. Doing Linda's kale to Ooh. learn how to read a graph. Relied on the written text instead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Today, um, I, we gone to the Mexican store. We got some tamales. They're selling tamales in there. So that's what we have for dinner. Tamales. Ivy, I agree. Um, because I was just telling Jeannie yeah, and them yeah. with my fillet crochet and stuff, I you can use cross stitching pattern. Um, it's the same thing, basically. Welcome in, not for frogging. Welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome in. Carol Clark, I think we spoke to you on the way in, but you're sitting on the patio with your husband in front of a fire sipping a beer. Hmm. Ooh, and you're there here with us. Look at you, Carol. Nice. Look at you, I Carol. probably need to drink some wine or drink a beer, and I probably could sleep then. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, my gosh. Oh, Jean, you're so welcome. Hello, all from Kelly. Hey, Jean, so welcome in. Hello, Jean. Hey, hey, hey Jean. We, I'm going to learn, too, because I don't know how to read those things. So, I'm learning. <laughs> I'm learning and I'm learning. And she put me work today. Mm, I'm telling you. This lady okay, so right here. Right here. <laughs> flip flop the mountain top. I still um, see you. I still see you. I still see you. You can't. Y'all see somebody? Huh? Huh? Yeah, I see, I see you. I see, I see, you. I see your right girl. I you, see your girl. Yeah, the girl right there. <laughs> <laughs> we still build the dogs and we don't go nowhere. <laughs> um, oh, they get me in God. trouble every time. Flip flops and lollipop said uh, she really, they really don't know the difference. I'm pretty new to crocheting. I bought the advent from another YouTube person. It was over two hundred dollars. Flip flops and lollipops. Tuesday. If you want to do a see a tutorial from a pattern, be here Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, I will share my pattern for the stitch marker wall hanger with anyone who wants it. Send me a mess, send me your email. Um, so love everything crochet at gmail.com. And I will send you a copy of my pattern. That way you'll have it on hand. And we can do the tutorial on that next Tuesday. And I will show I you how to make it. With, and with these advent cute. calendars, I'm just confused. Do they come with just a calendar? Or are they coming with like yarn and stuff to go with it? The only I can be, I've been seeing in those is, is just the yarn. I don't know what it was coming in that box. I don't know. Oh, I thought it was like a calendar. I okay. ordered an advent calendar off of Etsy last year. Hi, the only Sola. Thing it was the calendar Hi, Sola. and the pattern. Yeah. It was the calendar and the pattern? Yes. So we'll get a little extra learning how to read a pattern tonight and then again Tuesday. And you'll oh, see the here. difference in how patterns can be written up because I wrote my own pattern. Well, I, I typed it up, <laughs> but I tried to type it as simplest as I knew how to, where it would be easy to follow. It is easy and to it follow. And it does include pictures of where, where your stitches go and stuff like that. Mm. Hey, Marshall Hurley. Hey, Marshall. Hey, Zoila, Zoila. Welcome in. Zoila, Girl, what kind of pie would you bake? She said, hey, Jeannie, Melissa, and not Pink V. <laughs> <laughs> Who said not Pink V? Who said not Pink V? Zoila. Who said that? Zoila. Zoila. <laughs> yeah, the calendar I ordered didn't come with any yarn. It just came with the calendar and the patterns stuck in a pocket in the back of the calendar. Oh, wow. Well, Kelsey Crochet says that usually it comes with small single hinks for each day. Okay, Margaret. Um, calendars are different. Some have patterns and yarn, and some are just yarn. Yeah. And y'all know most patterns come with um, whatever yarn the pattern 
writer use is what yarn they recommend but a lot of yarns do come with substitutions of if yeah. you don't have that particular yarn you can substitute it for other yarns if we so do a live on that a pattern and you don't want to you want to skip over it because you don't have that particular yarn look and see if it has a substitution and if not you can substitute whatever size weight yarn they recommend in with another type of yarn as long as you stay with that same yarn weight. Yeah. So hopefully your tension would be the same. Oh Lord, she had okay. to get them earplugs. No, I had to put my hair up because the way I'm going to show everyone how you measure yourself, my hair is going to be long, so I just got to put it up so that way. Let's see. Well, I didn't even like my... <sighs> hey, Sylvia. So, all that they do, just go on Etsy and type in advent calendars for crocheters, and it'll pull them up. Jeannie, I have your flip. Oh, I have your pattern. That yes. But anyone else that wants it, you don't have to go to Ravelry and buy it. I will send you the link and you can download it yourself. You're so sweet, this. You're so sweet. That's what you're going to do. It. I've, I've just totally like, so you're doing your um, <laughs> wall hanger? Stitch marker wall hanger. Woohoo. It's right there. I love it. There I love you it. go. You can use it for stitch markers, oh, earrings, have... everything. And I used, I didn't even order like the wood pieces. I went outside in my yard. I got me a nice stick from my tree a stick yeah yeah i'm gonna make my girl some mm -hmm. you can make all sizes i have another yeah. one hanging up up there i have one hanging in my room that i have all my earrings on and i got one hanging in my living room that i made and just stuck it on the wall and ain't moved it. <laughs> <laughs> i've made several of them and sent them to people Linda, I have it with me and made it with Dollar Tree yarn magenta. V sent me. <laughs> Zola sent me an email at um, Love Everything. I'm going to put it across the screen at the bottom. Send me an email to that email and I will um, send you the link to where you can download it for free where you don't have to go on Ravelry and buy it. Okay, yeah, they're all asking. So, yeah, just email this Jeannie and she'll send me the link. Yeah. BJ. The email is going Marshall. across the bottom of the screen. It's on Ravelry, Marshall, but um, we're going to make, well, I'm going to show you how to make it on a live next Tuesday. Yeah, just email me, Ms. VJ. Um, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Hey, Mama J, welcome in. Welcome in. Not April. Hey, Mama J, welcome in. Because I got a super, 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 super. We all super. We super. We super. Yes, we super. Thank you, Miss Margaret. Thank you, Margaret. Thank you, Margaret. Oh, and for all my members that have joined my Butterfly Squad, I need y'all to email me and email me your address. Your your fist, Miss Margaret, I got yours now. But anyone who's a member, um, send me your mailing address so I can put it I'm in my... I will send to you. I will send to you. I will. <laughs> Look, V, I told my husband what you said when I sent you that picture. Yeah, I'm going to show y'all what I sent to the post office. What I, oh, I had yeah. to take to the post office. All them packages. This was Is me that, going to the post office the other day, ladies. Y'all see that? I had to buy that little flatbed trailer thing right there to take all my stuff to the post office. <laughs> oh yeah. Good night, Linda. And I sent that picture to me and me says, Sis Jeannie, I hope you don't have your husband in them boxes. 
<laughs> Each one of y'all gonna get a piece of it. <laughs> oh, he said, he said, but he can put you in one of them boxes and send you to Georgia. And when I told him that, he said, I got the perfect box for you. And I looked at it today. He does too. The box that is still tank on the Enforced truck. <laughs> You'll fit in it. Like, look, I would fit in there, and then he could pack a whole lot of yarn around me to to protect me. <laughs> oh, hey, coming back to Alabama, God. you gonna stay in Georgia? <laughs> oh my we goodness! Just Jessica says, "Bye, everyone who is leaving. Who left?" No, just um, Linda. A little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gotta yeah. go to bed. Good night. We love yeah. you. Good night, Linda. Welcome in a little bit of nothing. Oh, and I don't know why they're doing that. There we we need, that that little thing in the jungle. I'm just saying, it, it really does. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like it does not my hey mine is working because I did, yours I is working study, great you know as you're not working i'm gonna pay you <laughs> and you get the <laughs> oh my gosh mm -mm -mm. lord i don't know what's oh, going on with night but they don't have none of my stuff that i put in there in there so I'm hey, a little to, bit uh, of nothing. Welcome in. We're doing great. How you doing? How you doing? Yes. How are you? We're doing great. Yes. Thank you for being here. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Well, I'm just going to close night by that so he won't be doing that all night because I've been chunked him out the window. That little <laughs> robot. <laughs> yeah. Welcome okay. in, Jessica. You hit 500 subs today. Woohoo! You'll at least get your community tab open in a week yes, or so. Yes. Congratulations. Yes. Congratulations. Yay. Yes. Congrats. That's amazing. Oh, my goodness. I started a little bit of nothing. Yeah. 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 Over here in New York, it's freezing. A little bit of nothing. Welcome in. Trying to stay warm. Yeah, it's cool here too, y'all. Remind me your remind us your name. Uh, a little bit of nothing. I just I don't remember. I know. Uh, I don't know. I forgot. I forgot yeah, her name. Congratulations, Jessica. That's a big milestone. Yeah. You halfway there. And believe it or not, once you there go night bot night bot stop. Once you <laughs> reach that other once you reach that 500 mark it's like you you get to that thousand oh sooner God. than you get when you, you got the five liz 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 okay, okay liz. welcome in liz welcome that'll in, be an liz. easy one to remember we have another liz yes also. yes, yes we do exactly Look at the and yeah, night but <laughs> having a meltdown mama j says please honor the host and and hit those thumbs up Thumbs up, thumbs up. Thumbs up. We really up. appreciate it. Please. Did you forget? Yes. Go out and hit that button and come in. Come back in. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, what day. Oh, Lord. Well, yesterday mm -hmm. I was for sure all kind of almost half day just doing my mosaic. So I already started the start already. So did you? You're excited, huh? Yeah. I haven't been, I haven't crocheted yeah. really in a couple of days. Look, 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 that little helper, he loved me. He loved me. Look at it. He dropped his arm. Um, and I closed him out. One. No, he said, uh uh. Now with Pink B. <laughs> <laughs> I when I pulled up my timers, it didn't have you in there. So where are you coming from? Oh my god. Oh my god. Nightbot's doing its own thing tonight. <laughs> oh. Well, I cook um, home homemade uh handmade hamburgers. I don't call them homemade. I made the patties by hand and Me I too. baked them in the oven and I cooked some uh tater tots and made a tomato right. and cucumber salad. Here in my house. Yeah, Mama J. You see I me on my skillet? I took the top off, Mama J. So I wouldn't, um, because they won't cool down. This cup keeps all the heat, and I'm gonna go take a sip. I keep burning my lips. So I'm gonna go take the lid off, and I'm. 
and I got some on my yeah. legs. So that's what the thermal cup. Today I actually have some tamales. Um, Ooh, this is what tamales. I got for dinner. You had tamales? Yeah. Tamales. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. With tamales. Okay, barbecue. Can you can hear yeah. and it's ready. And they say I'm coming to Montana. Mm. Mm. Too far away. <laughs> <laughs> but we could eat lasagna it all yeah. sounds great usually i cook like a dinner dinner today was like a kid dinner chicken nuggets and <laughs> i was not i was not cooking <clears throat> sometimes hey sometimes you just like something easy and quick you know yep i mean the tamales i got in at the mexican store today because i've taken the boys to the haircut and the Mexican store is right there. I said, you know what? Let me go get some tamales for dinner. I'm not going to cook. I'm going to be really busy. So the kids the kids just say, okay, we're going to eat tamales. That's what we eat, tamales. Now, when you buy them, are they in a can? Are they in a package? How are they? My mom used to buy the can when we were younger, can of hot tamales. It's like, they're like. And the can? Yeah, this is when I was young. Yep. From where? <laughs> I don't remember. I remember her eating them things though. They were like saucy. Well, looking. tamales, the way that we, they had in here, they're fresh. They're like the same day. They make them with the same day. Well, yeah, you go to the store, you can buy them in the, on the, in the store in a can. Oh, no, no, no. It's no, no. I don't even, I know if it's not tamales, it's not fresh. I've never it had them. Frozen. Look it at uh, whatever you can. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'm have That's to what I'm saying. Now. I can't. That's what I was younger, I'm like, yes. Mom, I was trying to get me to try them. She loved them, and I'm like, no, thank you. I was young. I just thought it looked soft, uh, like, and I love sauce, but the smell to it uh, and the frozen. Like, no, 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 no ma'am. It is not fresh. I'm not eating, and I'm not eating. Can tamales from the grocery yeah. store? Yes, VJ. Yep. Really? I, I I really yep. There you go, Sabrina. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. There you go. I'm. I'm. Not, I'm not I'm saying like, you're crazy. I know, but I'm not crazy for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> now, crazy that right, people I make them that way. Molly's in the grocery store, yeah. Yep. Oh, I no. should have fixed not that. Right right but listen, but you're Mexican, so you like you want some you. It's, that's like me saying to Ray's mom, frozen sofrito. She looks at me like, who uses frozen sofrito? Like, no, you make homemade sofrito. <laughs> you know, she listen. I had some in my friend. She threw it out and gave me her homemade one. Like, she, it's like, <laughs> oh no. No, no, no. Welcome no, in, no. Granny no, B. I think I missed you. I was over there playing around with night, but welcome in. Ooh. Where is she? I don't see. Granny D? It jumped. Oh, I just oh, seen her. Right oh, yeah. Hey, Granny D. <laughs> yeah. Welcome in. No, no. Uh, I prefer if I prefer just um, it is not it is not fresh. No, I think because you, like you said, you know, because well, I'm me and not the and, end and crochet, I, and I like more fresh stuff. So, yeah, yeah. When I think of her From name, I think, I okay, it. when I get to the end of this row, I'm gonna quit. Not the end, not the end. <laughs> And I just keep going. <laughs> not then. Oh, oh my God. Mama J, yeah. right. And I am not eating no greens out of a can. I don't care if they're collards, turnips, mustards. I don't <laughs> care. They can stay seasoned all day long. They ain't right. seasoned. I'm going I'm to the garden. To eat, them them. Mom, eat them up. Yeah. 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 There's yeah. nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with frozen. Yes, Sabrina, I agree. But fresh yeah. is always best. That's what I was just saying. I, I agree. I had no problem using the frozen sofrito. My mother-in-law was so, like, like I hurt her feelings. Like, you know I make fresh sofrito. Why would you go buy the Goya frozen? Like, because it's at the store. I can't make it. From, I'm not <laughs> I'm not Puerto Rican. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. I, I understand. I understand, you know, when it's not, like, Either way, the food in here in Mexico, when uh, when I go to Mexico, is totally different. It's totally, I mean, it's 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 one hundred percent totally different, and it's just like that's what we have, you know. It's the American because it's, it's here. Mexican here, but it's Americanized Mexican versus actually going to Mexico and having yeah. Mexican food. Mm -hmm. Mama J, the time zones that we go on are different. This week we're here at my house, so I'm Central Standard Time. 
when we're at Melissa's or Veronica's house, we're on Eastern uh, Standard Time. So mm -hmm. when we're at Melissa and Veronica's, we're on your time zone. So it's always it's always Ooh. seven o'clock on your time zone, then, Mama J. Yeah, always seven oh. your time zone. Yes, the little we we talking about tamales. <laughs> she said she's like coming back and I hear about her made tamales. <laughs> she love it. Rainy D, uh, <laughs> flip flops and lollipop says, did your daughter and family make it in yet? Yay, Granny. Right, oh, yeah, not for problem. Problem. When you don't know right. food, I'm Italian. Right. <laughs> welcome in, Crystal. Hey, Divergent. Welcome yeah. in. We spoke to you earlier. Maybe you had stepped away, but welcome back. If you stepped away yes. and came back. It's 438 here in California. Woo. California. Mm -hmm. I wish it was yes, 4 o'clock in California. 5 o'clock. We're on. Um, Nisi is at in Montana. Um, it's in the description boxes of, of the scheduled ones that we have. We usually put like seven Eastern, six. Um, I put it in my community tab when I share the video, but I didn't when I just shared it again. I didn't put the times. I just say come join us now. That, yeah. <laughs> um, we normally schedule them a week or so out, so you'll get like the you know how, like it'll show you and you can set the reminder, and usually it tells you there. Woohoo, Sanita. They say, y'all, I think my yarn from Lime Brand arrived from the sale. That y'all, I missed that sale. Go. Premier has, Premier has a good sale on right now. Some they, yarns are two dollars. They have some a wool, a superwash merino wool, cashmere, and viscose, I think, for like three dollars. You know, I just noticed um, my phone is showing me something different than the computer. The stream yard is showing how Sunita posted the just a quick hi. I'll catch up later. I'll catch the replay later, but she hit the membership thing for three months. You know how it lights up. It's and not the computer. I don't see it, but I, I see it in my iPad. And I see it in the stream yard, right? Yeah. I yeah. show it in my months, computer. Too. That's weird. I mean, I'm showing it on That's, my um. Thank you, Sunita. Well, and thank you for watching the replay yeah, later. On my phone too. Yeah, not stream yard. Thank you, Sunita. Ooh, somebody's gonna make them chicken enchiladas mm. tomorrow. I'm gonna need y'all to send me just one or two. And it, she on my phone is right up underneath where Granny D says, Not yet. Soon. Yeah, and yeah, and but it's not on stream yard. That's weird. That's crazy. Oh, sis Liz's night bot is working. Huh? Look at this night night Susan. <laughs> they all should be working now. It's certain I got them set at anywhere from five to eleven and twelve minutes. So all of them should be working. Uh, okay. Oh my and goodness. I'm jealous. Seven I wish I could Kansas make an enchilada. <laughs> three weeks are good. They, hey. they, they melt evenly. Hey. I, I love enchiladas and the red and the and the not the red and the green salsa. Oh my goodness, that's that's the best. That's the best. You all are making me so hungry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> There's Kim. Yeah, nightbot. Nightbot on a thing. Yeah, there you he, go. He, he here like a chunk. Like I think she took her um uh, my doll or something. She's no longer on my doll. <laughs> Bye, Jessica. Have a good night. Thank Bye, you. Bye, Jessica. Again. Congratulations again, Jessica. Yeah. Yes. Oh my. Goodness. All right, ladies. Which one of y'all want to go first, or y'all want to do the pattern first, or what y'all want to do? And if y'all um, have any questions, um. Put them in the chat, and we once the person that you have the questions for, once she's done, we will answer the questions. I Unless it's something pertaining to what she's is, doing at that time. Yeah, we'll start no. first. Okay. Uh, the one that will be suggestion who like to do it, get your, I can start first if it's okay. 
Okay, you going I'm gonna, gonna have to share the I'm gonna have to share the screen at some point, Arna. <laughs> okay. So if you like to schedule, measure it, okay, and get a pen, get you uh, any book on a notebook, or you don't have that, just get like a white paper. And I'm going to show you how I measure myself to do tap like this and crochet. Um, it's going to be five steps only, the way you can do. And um, you can see in my picture right here, I've got mine already. Hey, that's me. And I want to clarify right now, who watching the replay, this is my way. And this is the way it's worked for me. Any opinions are welcome. Okay. And any suggestions, they welcome. And this way I'm, I've been doing is work for myself. Maybe for other people that could be say, ah, uh, not for me. Well, you know, you can find your own way. But this is the way that my mom teach me. I can do measure myself, do it in my way, and I can create a stuff like this. Um, and whatever watching the replay, uh, all comments are welcome. But they have to be nice comments. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. Um, first, if y'all ready. Now, for me, it's centimeters, but I'm going to do in your way. Is I think it's in what inches, right, Jenny? <laughs> right. <laughs> for right for inches in American for inches. For me, it's, it's centimeters, but I'm going for inches. Hopefully, it work. <laughs> if it's not big, let me correct you, B. Okay, so I go get Savannah. I need to work myself. She's not behind me. And what she's teaching y'all how to do, y'all, if y'all have some stitch, if y'all have some crochet stitch books, I don't know if y'all can still see me too, but if y'all have some crochet stitch books, what she's teaching you is how to make your own measurements and take any stitch out of this using the multiples that's required in the book and make your own garments um this in this book right here there's a, a project planner um and the last page uh let me show you you can see it right here um that's the yeah. way you can measure it your uh, yourself or you can create your own designs and your size now and mine the way i do i just want to teaching you you know how, how i do myself but i'm going to do it in savannah so i'm going to get let me get a new paper okay let me see. Let me get this one right here. This is super easy. What are you going to do is make like this long. Okay, they don't have to be like, oh, wow, perfect. This is the perfect line. Now, this is you on. But, you know, you're just going to put the numbers. You so know, the long. you have a, a darker pen because your light is, is making it. You can't see it at all. Oh, the light is blowing it, it okay. out. Yeah. Okay, let's go through it again. Let me just do it this way. Okay. Like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like I said, then I have to be perfect. Okay. <laughs> this is your, you have to this is your artist, draw. Uh, artist to design your own piece. <laughs> <laughs> no, because the more Not important is, is how many they have to be, the long to this side to this side. That's the more important, you know. So this is the shirt, okay, or the summer towel, whatever you want to call, okay. So we're going to measure ourselves first to here, to here. That means is you're going to get your measuring, and we are going in inches. <laughs> American. And a Mexican, American. <laughs> okay, so we are going to... This part right here, because it's 
we have to do that arm, arm to right here. You see my uh, line right here to this part right here. You see the lines right here? That's what we're going to do first. You see uh, right here? Let me see. There you go. You see? So to here, I'm going to stop and the line, sorry, this side. Yeah, the line right here. Okay, so in Savannah, that's one. Savannah, that's more, it's more than me. So, um, Savannah, we are going to like this to here, arm to arm. Okay, and her is 14, 14 and a half. Little, little. Okay, she's, she's little. So, she's little. Okay, we measure it to read right here to right here, but that's not done. 14, we say 14. So you're going to keep the 14, and what you're going to do is go to here, to here, right here, to the arm. How long did you want to? Because for me, I like covering my arms, you know, because we have like a, you know, <laughs> giggly, giggly. We have you extra know? baggage floating around. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we, uh, you know, I have this part right here in my stomach top extra because I like covering my arms. Okay, so um, so like I said, the uh, the right here to right here to down is how much you want to long. Okay, the we said fourteen, we said fourteen to here to fourteen. I put uh fourteen one two three four. I put four, I put five, one, two, three, four, five. I put five extra, so that means that is the slip right here. To here, to here, five. So I need, let me see, there was 19, and let me put five more because it's gonna be the other side, okay? One, two, three, four, five, okay? So total completely for, for me or for her, for you know, for me because I measured it the the uh the summer top. This is my size right here. So we said 14 and 19, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 24. Okay. Let me see now, 25. So that is that's gonna be my size to for my shirt to the part the arm to arm to right here to right here and let me see and in inches okay so easy i mean easy you can you can do half per first right here put it in the middle put it like this okay and you see the number i see the number 13 that's the long i want my uh cover my summertime my arms okay 13 this size to that size so it got to be 13 to here to the other side so put together is 20 26 total this will be 26 inches okay so we are going to put 26 inches and there's gonna be this part right here here to here okay 26 inches now to here to here that mean is gonna be right here you see the line right here two and a half right here with the girls let me go this way okay to right here now when we doing this way we have to make sure because in the back we don't have nothing <laughs> We have in the front, right? When we doing this, what I do is put it like this and hold it in here, okay? And mine is 14, but I'm gonna put extra more, okay? Because sometimes it can be, it just depends the bra or whatever the top that you have, you know, you have to make sure you have something that grows this up. <laughs> Like that. <laughs> <laughs> you you gotta give a little extra room for the ladies. 
Because if you wear yes. a push-up bra or anything like that, then you're lifting them up and making them stand out further than maybe what you did when you measured yourself or you may have measured yourself without a bra on at all. And exactly if you like me, yes. then you're going to get a shorter, a, 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 a wrong measurement because mine ain't lifting. So I put a bra on. <laughs> <laughs> so, so to hear, to hear it was, it was for me is you can put it in the middle right here or maybe in a, a little bit more up. It just is up to you. Okay, now you remember you put it more down this part right here. There's gonna be more open, and I'm going to you're going to see part that you uh inside that you own you part that your body with this part right here. You got to make sure when you measure yourself to right here, you know, whatever whatever you want to stop. I want to say this is a really important because if you make more sure, maybe you cannot put your arm inside because it's too really small, you know? So that is 14 inches. Now, the next step, I'm gonna put a run on me, okay? Hopefully there can be more. <laughs> so you can see, you see mine is, you can see right there. So I'm gonna give you a space that my, my uh, this part right here, when I put my arm inside my summer top or whatever you want to create it. So now, right here is really, really, really nice to pay attention because if I put really tight, when I crochet and finish my top, they gonna be really tight. Then what they I do, I put, two, yeah, I put two fingers like this and put it like this. You can see it. So that way I give it extra space and I move it, my measure a little bit in this 45. If I'm not doing that, that's gonna be 44. So this will be 44. So I give it one more, it's 45. So I run for your uh I want to say make it the part the bride right here to right here. Okay, so this that is the way i do mine now that one it was 44 for the circle right here to here to here okay 44 inches now the long this this is except to you how long did you want it mine right this one right here it was now, when you when you um when you measure yourself how long it is, make sure doing this way. You see the the growth is right here. It's twenty eight inches, but I hold I hold it in here, okay, and I and I put my two fingers right here, right here where the growth it is, and this one is coming to thirty inches. So I give it, it was 28, so I give it two more because the girls right here. So you can have a more space. This one can get more, more room for the girls. Okay, we said 30, the long. Okay, and which one it was? One, two, three, four. I missed something. Now, it's an, this is an, another way you can do okay if you don't like to do it like doing uh well, i think i did doing the uh to here to here and one you like i like i said the first time when i've been uh i was teaching you doing the half and half first do it like this this is one way now it is so hard for you doing yourself get somebody to help sometimes i have to get my husband you know hey uh just just tell me just only just tell me what is the number you know and they tell you what is the number which you try to put it in the middle right here because that one is count the front and the back but when you're doing it in the, in the front you're going to do maybe one or two more um you have to give it a more the one to two more inches now um that is that is my way i do my my clothes and crochet 
we're not doing fabric because I can do clothes and fabric, but I just like there's more other things to do and it's kind of more for me that's a little hard to explain. Um there's a lot of math and and all the stuff and I'm just like no. But one that I really suggestion um is this right here. Um this right here I uh get them in Walmart and the one that I like because they come with the size and whether you can do only the same we measure ourselves making you own picture do it okay this is an uh this right here you have to make the same thing two pieces the same size the same numbers because they're going one foot in the back one foot in the back that's okay you have extra a little more a little more bigger because you're going to have more extra room you know to um but i got these ones in walmart and they come any size they come with the extra small to extra large and just let me show you real quick how they look sometimes i use this but not really well not no more because now i know i can do it myself but uh, if you this is for the bag just let me show you okay just let me show you sorry for the noise okay right here you see all those lines right there hopefully you can see okay all those lines right there you can see um the size right there extra small small medium large and extra large okay so whatever size you are you have to start cutting with the scissors um like for me i'm going to say extra large but remember fabric and crochet the fabric get more bigger the crochet and i'm telling you because i've been doing this and this and this for me it is I, my opinion is that way um if i cut it this one and i try to do it exactly this picture right here they go build this one they go be like a 3x or 2x because um fabric is totally different and uh crochet it just depends on you you use you use it, uh a small size there's gonna be more stitch you know but there's gonna be the same numbers that measure your size this is gonna be the same thing the only goal is different is the stitches okay so um so like me, I'm going to start cut it right here, extra large, right here. If I'm going to do this in fabric, if not, if I'm going to do in crochet, I'm going in the medium or in the large. So I'm going to cut it this part right here, the lines of the, um, this is the one pieces. Let me show you. Let me see if I can bend that. You can see it. You see that? I mean, there's, there's different, different lines. Each line is each side. So whatever size you are, you have to cut cut it with the scissors. So this one right here, let me see. You can see right there. So if I'm in, I'm going to do okay. I'm going to do medium because or large because in crochet is is more small than the fabric. So right here I cut it all, and right here you have to really be careful because it's really kind of. You get confused, you will be cutting what <laughs> which one is the large and which one is the medium. Okay, so but this just I mean this is just an idea, you know. I want to say for if you don't know how you working with this, don't do it. <laughs> you know, I mean that's that is uh I think the way you just measure yourself five four the step you going to you going to uh complain it making your own top you know now if you want to put fabric in your bag right here this one you can find in walmart and they can show you um for the size of the bag and i really like this one right here and let me see if i can find it 
Too many papers. <laughs> okay, I have to mess right here. Nope, this is not. Sorry, everyone. Okay, I know I have that right here. Okay, right here. So they come in in different and different. The same thing they come in in paper like this. This you can find in Walmart. Um, and they tell you how many pieces you want, and you can completely this back and fabric. But the only I needed is just like on to say the base number, just the number one. I'm gonna need two numbers, two numbers ones, or two numbers fours. That is the the front, the front, and the in the back, and the one that going inside. Now, when you um, try doing this and uh, fabric. Because sometimes I like put this in, in my in my bags. You do bags, you know. You like to do crochet bags. That's that is another. Um, but the, I mean, that really, really, really easy. Just how you say cover, cover the bags. I think is what they say. You know, put the fabric in, inside the, your your own bag. Yeah. Put a line, um, in, um, line your crochet. Bag. Yeah. Yes. You know, before you close it and everything, we really recommend it just measure it and you can cut it in fabric. But I'm just giving you ideas where you can find kind of, you know, they come in in paper like this, you know, and they, they already have, how, you know, the size and uh, how you can cut it and everything. But just put it in the fabric and the top of the fabric and it just start, uh, making like a how you say like a draw and everything and you start cut it but like I mean, yeah i like this because they save me time because i don't want to like when people doing like a saw like this stuff like this or stuff like this they gonna match my mom she's doing like a, oh uh uh 10 plus this or 20 by this i said ah forget it <laughs> I'm not going in that way. You know, I'm going to try it by my own way. And this is my way. Easy and quick. And they was cost only $2.97. And they, Walmart, they have a lot. Different designs, different size of bags, uh, different stuff like this. What you can do with this, just making you own a square. Measure yourself. And you can find out what size you are right there. So let me see. I'll just get this one um, because it's really easy. And this one you, you can make in this and crochet. Even you don't have to. I've never seen those. That's uh, an awesome idea. Yeah, I've I mean this. Including they have yeah, for those. taught me something like too. This. I never thought about taking patterns, clothes mm -hmm. patterns, yeah, and converting them to yeah. crochet garments yes i mean it, it's it's really really um see this one right here this one is um this one is the part v this one is go and around the neck and but you can see they have the size so the size you are you, you cut it you see the letters right there just cut it in a line like i used to okay mm -hmm. i'm a large i cut in a large put this one you know and and um and you can see okay to here to here i am i want to say 30. okay let me do how much change that in 30. so i'm gonna have my right side so so this is a great day you don't want to measure yourself get one of this you say okay i'm melissa what size you are you like medium okay yeah. and melissa she's medium okay you're going to change mini change to get to this size to this size and how many chains they are oh you okay. don't want to measure yourself and if you're not sure you, you know what i mean you just want your chain. and if you get your measurement from the pattern though you can just crochet yeah. your chain and lay it on there and see if it's long enough mm -hmm. yeah and just make yeah, sure that what you're all. using that you have chains to accommodate your stitch pattern Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, because right here they said for for and it and this one well, if you want to do on a fabric, but this one they tell you how much fabric you need for make this right here in fabric. But because we're not gonna do it in fabric, we keep doing it in crochet. So what you're gonna do is you know like I I could say it again if you measure yourself to this right here to the line you already cut it. I'm going to say medium. Let me closer. Okay. Now, the blue right here to this side right here, do a change. And that's when you start your project. This is your size. And you're going to say, okay, there's uh, 65 or 75 change. Okay, that is your size. So you start crocheting your design. Like this one right here. You know, how many change you do to right here, to right here. That's gonna be completely your top. The uh, the start your body about I mean about your the top to right here to right here. I mean this that's pretty much this is an idea. You know, this is idea it was working on me. Um but because I know I find my way, get my little things. I got I got my stuff right here. You can see right here and just the square. I have another one. You can see it. Because each now he's really important. If it is like a, a this one right here is double crochet. Now and you say okay, let me do something like more more fancy, more like another different stitch. You know, like about my my cardigan, the mimosa. This is what I did. This is a stitch I get. So you had to go. For how many multiple and this one there's a multiple of 14. if you want to get this design you have to do multiple of 14. but in mine um i did in mine this will be another maybe another time and i can explain this one but it's really simple measure yourself right here to right here that's the half to right here to right here is a half and you're gonna make it two um how you say uh for for this one right here panels yeah two this one right here two this panels one is two on it yes two panels this one right here is two panels and what i did is measure myself to here how long i want it and for uh this size and this size that's it but when I started to right here in the middle, okay, right here to right here, I'm going to say, okay, how many it is? I had to have multiple of 14 if I want the sign, the stitch. So in mine, um, I did the design. It was one, two, three, three and a half uh, to my design. I mean the stitch. So I had to count how many change, but I had to count multiple of 14. Sometimes you say, okay, this is gonna be too long to right here, but you can you can count, you can instead the 14, you can have set at seven. So for I did 14, 14, and plus 14 three times and plus seven. So that way I can have the completely numbers. If I got seven, uh, if I had eight or nine, I'm not gonna be. I'm gonna cut extra change, and I'm not gonna get the design, the last one because they go. I got an extra stitch. So you have to be careful sometimes when you created something like this. You have to count exactly how many uh, multiple or. I mean, this looks just amazing. So. Each book they have multiple of six, multiple or seven. So you want to make sure, um, I, I'll help you explain it briefly. So like, you know, when you have these books, it'll say, you know, chain um, or multiples of four plus two for turning chain or whatever it may yes. say. So Z is just saying that whatever, when you measure yourself, whatever your foundation row is, also put in mind that if the pattern calls for multiples of four, that you have to adjust, you may have to adjust by one or two chains just to make sure that you have enough of the multiples to complete that pattern. 
Yes. I think because that's what you were saying, one, right? Yes. No, yeah, okay. that's right. So, yeah. And if you're right using here, a you know, bitch. Go ahead, Janie. If you're using a uh, stitch pattern out of one of the stitch dictionaries, well, no matter which one it is, all of those are worked in a chain. All of those are worked lengthwise. So if the only time you would not add your extra stitches based on the stitch pattern is if you're working in the round. But if you're making a, a cardigan if you're making a cover-up like veronica has there or if you're making a shirt like she has on savannah you want to follow that mm -hmm. stitch pattern to the point if it says 14 stitches plus four you got to add those from the end in order for your pattern to come out right if not it's not going to come out right mm -mm. um if it says oh. 10 stitches plus Two, you got to add those two at the end because that's going to be your turning chain and that's what's going to mm -hmm. be able to create that pattern along that chain and once you get your foundation yeah. chain and your stitch pattern complete then it's just continuing to crochet then and mm -hmm. also Let me, what she means by measuring Jenny. from your shoulder Let, Jenny let me check my camera so I can show uh you can still talk him, but when I check my uh, switch my camera, so I got this one right here is the exactly this one, the size for this one. So you can still talk him and just let me put my camera and this so people can see exactly what is in my book for that. Okay, that sound good. Okay, and when you can still tell you to measure from the top of your shoulder down to your girls, that's how you. That the length that you're going to go down with your top panels, and then you're going to come in and go down to to cover your body portion. Because if you if you continue to crochet the length of your top part here all the way down, then you will have an extra flowy top. I don't know what she's doing, making all that noise. Sound like Bella's practicing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, let me get on. Hello, Bella. I think that's where I was kind of like, wait a minute. So when you do the arms across, like she was showing, you know, your how you I, I get that part. But once you get past your ladies, yeah. how you're how you're switching, like what? are you in, like decreasing? Like Yeah, you just single Go ahead. You can do it one or two rows. You can, you can, whatever row you end on at that point, you can either slip switch back to where you need to pick back up at and continue. And you only go over so far. Okay. And then you just work back and forth. Gotcha. Because just like what she did, she put it together by sewing up the sides. And then sewing across the top and leaving the neck hole open. Yeah, I always thought hers were like two squares. I didn't realize that. And then she added the arms. That's what it looks like. If you look at the shirt, it looks like she um, her, did the two. Um, so am I on the top or on the black one? On the top. One that Savannah was wearing, that was two panels sewed together. Okay, and then she just did an around around the arm, correct? Okay, that's where I was confused. No, when she did, when she put the two panels together, the panels formed the arms. Okay, and then if you want the arms longer, you can just go crochet in the round to continue down the arm as long as you want to go, right? Like if you want, that or you okay. can make your measurement to your. That or you can make your measurement to your wrist. Okay. Okay, so y'all can see that one? Hopefully you can. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so it's a little I mean it's it right. Light, but. Yeah, we can see it. It it yeah. Can you bring the camera down closer to it a little bit and maybe just maneuver it around? Let's see. Okay, then they can see me. Okay. 
Okay. Can y'all see Melissa? No, it's um she. They can't see any of us except for V. What V? Because V was showing, so sh um you sh soloed. Her. Oh yeah, no, uh, we're we're in the basement. <laughs> yeah, we're in the basement. <laughs> uh, well, I, I just real quick so y'all can see. I mean, this is the name for the uh what is the black the savannah she was wearing? My uh mimosa um. I'm going to say mimosa gorgon, I guess, <laughs> because I use mimosa yarn. So, um, like, I, you know, Janie, she was explained to, she helped me and explained much better, you know, so y'all can understand better. Um, the what that I'm saying, you see right here, 14, this is number 14, there was multiple 14, 4, 3 equals 42. So, um, but I want to get one more design. That's just a half. I just put seven. So total it was 49. Okay. And uh, 49, that was my, um, how to say, uh, change. I had to make 49 change. But right here, because the, uh, the stitch tell me plus three more. Because you know the one you put it up when you start making your design, the stitch always says, okay, multiple of four plus two or plus three or plus four. You your know? turning chain. So total, yes, chain. So now uh, for total, I had to do 52 change. So start one panel, only one, 52. Okay, this one is gonna be for all, or this is this is the panel. There's gonna be uh the front and go to the back too. So um, that long, I put in centimeters, but I put in inches too. So in centimeters, it was 92, but I had to double a total 184 centimeters. So for one panel. For the other one, they had to be the same thing. And, and inches, it was 33, but I had to put in double because what is going to be in the front and going to be in the back. But there's going to be only one, one panel. There's all long, the long, you know, for uh, for the one, this side and the this side. So total, they had to be 72 inches for doing the black, the mimosa, the black mimosa. Um, Let me see what else. Uh, Yes. So total the chains so, I had um, to Melissa, do change. Do you want to... Yes. Go ahead, Veron. What happened? That's no, I was writing it. down questions. I was writing down questions. Zoila had a couple, but you are you just answered her question, so she's just letting me know that, oh. she, that you answered them for her. Oh, okay. Okay. So so for inches, you had to have inches thirty six inches. That mean it's the long, okay? Now, and here right here, it just depends on you how long did you want it. So mine, I put it in 36 inches or 92 centimeters, whatever which one you like to use. I like to use more centimeters because I can, you know, that's the way a long crochet in centimeters or measure yourself in centimeters. So for a star, your design, you're going to start right here to right here you had to have 52 change so you can have three and a half designs so this is the design let me show you let me get my my top so you can see it so right here so right here is one you can see it okay right here is right here to right here is one okay right here this two this one two three but i did one more to i can have half the one because you and 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 the book you had to have two so that way you can completely the design so i did so other what i did i have i had to move to, i had to put seven more so that way i can have this one extra right here so it's one two and three so that means I suppose we have 49 change, but I said, okay, let me do seven more. So that way I can have just the half, you know, so that's, 
So that this one right here is the design, the uh, ornamental bands. That's the color of the stitch in the book. So, and when I done this part right here, I just put um, together, okay? Because this one right here is just one panel all long, you know? And this is all continued to long. And right here is when I close my, uh, for making the, uh, where I'm gonna put my 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 arms and everything. My what is it called? <laughs> oh gosh, yes. So um, so it now right here because it was a summertime that time when I'm making, I'm making big because I really like so really big. Uh, you know you you now right here you can measure yourself how long did you want it. You know okay you can say okay to right here to right here is. 28 centimeters by mean is 10 inches let me see never mind 11 12 inches right here so that is the long i want you know because it was summer that time when i made this so that's i want something really fresh and loose you know not nothing tight on me or or nothing and i had to much close on me so the what i did i closed together the two panels that we that I just already making like this, okay, and I close together, two in the back, and the same this part right here on the side. That's what I did. I just close it too, but I, before I close it, I had to measure myself how long I want this uh this part right here for my arms, you know. So, it, this is up to you. You, you had to play your own. With you, with your body has size, you feel comfortable, and that is the way I do mine. So I don't know any questions. You can take me out solo. I think I'm done. <clears throat> well, I was just typing in I here. Think. I wanted to let Sabrina know because Sabrina has a pattern for that. Uh, Sabrina, she doesn't. Um, we're hoping in the future, in the future, to help this we get her patterns written up. Um, because English is not her first language, it's it's not easy for her to um, express and write a pattern in English. Um, yes. But she, she reads, you know, gets her stitches out of a Spanish book um, and just take, like, like she told you the panel, you could just pick a stitch. Um, or if you have the same book or the English version, you could also just follow the, the yeah. But no, no current pattern for that. No, but I mean, it's and that's what I was going not, to say is that's just two panels put together, yeah. and she measured how far from here to here, how close does she want it to come in the front? So she yeah. measured that across. That way, when she when she sews up the top, she's not sewing it all the way up, and she's leaving enough to where it comes in the front the way she wants it to. That's just yeah. two long panels yeah. sewed together in the back, and yeah. then yeah. and then the arms is sewed to make the the sides are sewed up to the point where you want to put your armholes. Um, I do know someone that so has you a got similar. Three seams. Yep, and I um Pamela Adora Crocheting has a similar um tutorial, like a similar cardigan. It's pink. She uses flex and I think something else, but she's it's. It looks similar um, with the two panels in the front and the back. So that's just another idea. If you're looking for a tutorial or a pattern to help you make something like what we made um, until we, you know. Yeah. I mean, it, here's now, the thing. If you, well, know, you, how, if you know how you got this book, right? Did you get that stitch out of that? You got your stitch out of this book? No, it was this one. Oh yeah, I got that book. You can get that on Amazon, um, okay. Sabrina. Yeah. Let me tell you, everyone. This I love is that book. the. I want to say this is amazing book. Amazing. I mean, yeah, they well, have. <laughs> You're amazing, Janie. But this is amazing too. <laughs> I love that book. That was one of my first books, and I love how they explain each stitch. They give you the wording. Which is simple wording, and they give yes. you a diagram. They tell you, yeah. Um, yes, Sabrina, that is yes. exactly where the stitch. Because, like Sis Jeannie always says, you can make, you can write your own pattern. All you need is some stitch books, even one. If you could take like Sis V did and make 
you know, two panels in the front, one in the back, but use a different stitch out of a stitch book and call it Sabrina's Cardi, I mean, you got your own cardigan. You know what I mean? You can just use a different stitch and put it together how you want it. I learned that from Stitch Genie. <laughs> No, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's just like, um, it, it's so really simple, you know, I mean, just making, like, I'm going to say, this is the, this is the mimosa that I did, this one right here, this is one panel, okay, mm -hmm. this one going in this side, and this one going in this side, so when I want to together, make it like this, I just put it together like this first, okay, and I mean, they go like, you have to double and a half. That means this one will go in the front and this one go in the back. Whatever you like to do it. You have to make it long like, enough as long as you want it for the back and as long as you want it for the front. You can have it to where it's real long in the back and shorter in the front. Um, yes. It just depends on your, you, you position your panel in the front, how long you want it. And then if it comes down to your knee in the back, that's fine. You'll have a yeah. short part in the front and a long part in the back. Yeah. Yeah. And, and just put it together like this. This one right here, this will be just the back is when they go be sold. The front, no. The front, they go be open just because that's the Okay. Way I learned something new. Yeah. I thought it was three panels. I thought it was the back panel. No. Two no, 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 no. So you're taking just right here. Panels. Okay. I see. You yeah. can no, do them with three panels. You can. But, but it's easier to do it too, and so and, and crochet the back closed and crochet my the juice sides is that to your arms. Lady. <laughs> yes, yes. My juice is that now the, the most the most longer. Like I said, measure yourself in a half, and you want to make this one right here. Measure yourself right here to right here. The most longer, there's more stitches. There's more change. There's more you know the stitches you're going to use but it doesn't have to use okay i want to here to here to right here okay you're gonna be quick but the one i like to do and this you have some a little one. bit of sleeve exactly and this part right here extra that just you doing the cards and showing like the two panels but showing them that just come just put it all together in a bow with a bow for me like that because i was yeah, thinking I mean, it was three panels like the back no, so I'm wrong. No, Pamela's more going to say three panels, <laughs> but that way seems much simpler. Um, you're not yes. sewing, doing a bunch of sewing. You're just combining sewing the back under the armpit here where you would close your arm. Yeah, and down. That's it. So you're sewing here yeah. and then along the back. Mm-hmm. Now, Jamie, so you get your measure. <laughs> what is she doing? Yeah, like <laughs> She's sewing the panel. <laughs> Yeah, I mean this is so it's so I mean the more that you measure just more important part it is, especially right here, because some we have we have a little extra, you know. So not me, you I have would, to no. measure because if not, you're gonna be like this, you know. <laughs> so so that's really 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 you gotta take in consideration. <clears throat> you gotta take in consideration to us fluffy women. You know, when we sit down, we get a little bit fluffier. <laughs> Oh, so Wanda, you really? don't want to wear a form-fitting shirt, and when you sit down, oh, your no. crochet stitches are peeping out at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That's what oh, I, I always when I when I measure myself, I always my, put my two fingers like this, like this, and put it right here, right here between my, this right here, so that way they give me a space, extra yeah. change, extra space. When I sit down, my girl, they happy. Like, okay, I'm not tired. I'm not tired. We, we had a room, you know. So that is, I mean, always when and you make sure this because they got room. <laughs> yes. And look, I think a, a good note with that is too, and I could be wrong, but so you say you measure yourself, you know, you make a couple of those cardigans, but you use different yarns. You really can't just go by that one, the one cardigan and that measurement because all yarns are different. So different weights, different sizes, right. different stretchies. Some aren't stretchy. So you should measure yourself every time you make one. Let me tell you, that is the point. I, uh, thank you for for uh, for reminding me that, Melissa. Um, any any designs, any stitch, 
do you do? If you do a cardigan, if you do a summer top, if you do a dress, you, you have to make sure that you got the correct yarn because you're not gonna make in this one with the with the number four. You probably you can do it, but it is acrylic. This one they go be much bigger and they go be more thick. The, this one right here. This one is if I'm not wrong, that's number three or number two, if I'm not wrong. Um, I don't know. Okay. I, I forgot what size it is. But you. The, yeah. So like this one right here. Um, <laughs> this one is a hundred percent cotton. It's really fine, and the thing is number three, if I'm not wrong, but, uh, Jenny. And this it is one is a number. Where is it? Number two. Number two. See, my mama um, hipster. Yeah, the hipster. I'm not gonna make it number three. Four. Yeah, you yeah you can make it. Yeah. This one is number four, but if you want to make it, this this is a, a stitch and number four in acrylic. No, you have to three. keep it in mind. Three. Oh, there's three. Excellent. Yeah. Yes, that's yeah, that's three. So you had to really careful because the well not careful. If your yarn well. is the size of your yarn is like this one right here. Thank you. Because I'm gonna make. I'm gonna yeah, make another one. This is number three, but this is for me. It's look like number two. It's Mama so Jay. really fine. You yep. know. <laughs> Mama Jay, so, <laughs> and this one right here, I had to make a more change than this one right here because this is more fine yarn than this one. Savannah so, fell over. She fell over I to know. Mama Jay's comment. That's why. Okay, right there, Savannah. Right there. <laughs> You heard, you heard when you measure the girls, do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to they the flow? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you do your your chain hang oh. low? Melissa. <laughs> but I mean, that is that is my way. That is the way I've been learning. It worked for me, and um. I mean, for me, if I see, well, not, not more, I'm going to say now all the time when I see pictures and crochet or whatever, I can make it. Sometimes I'm just like, eh, this is not for me. But if I see some address or address or something, if I see it, okay, I can make it. I just look and see it and I can start making my note and how many I measure myself, I make my note, and that's the way I do my own design. So. Yeah. Uh, my my creative juices in my mind are like I learned a lot from that from from you showing yeah. up because when you made it before and you talked about it you know what I mean I, I thought um your first shirt that you um did a tutorial to the, with the band oh yeah um mm -hmm. I got the yarn for it and all that and I was gonna make it and I just kind of got confused so I was just like I'll go back and do it again later or try it again later um yeah. and I know that's different but um this one i was just thinking it was completely different I'm thinking it was three but i love You're that welcome, Mama Jay. thank you for showing that yeah oh yeah yeah i mean that's just try to give me the ideas you know that my mom she teach me she she teach me that way and like i said she, she teach me uh so close to but i'm just like that is not i learn it but i said that is not work for me i'm not really i make my own clothes i make it sound close for me but right. not for sale, not for nobody else. Just is my mess, I wear my mess. <laughs> <laughs> not a mess. Now, Melissa, the question yeah. that you had a while ago about her adding the sleeves on. If yeah. you do a two panel like she did with the mimosa cardigan and you wanted longer sleeves, then you would have to add the sleeves on to it. Because so would your you panel. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you would do it in the round. Once you sew your sides up, you come back and you do it in the round. And you, when you get here to the armpit, you go from one stitch over to the next stitch. You don't do all of them so you can close the gap up. And then you go in the round. And you can come down with it as long as you want to. And just say you have 32 stitches. It was 14. If you have 42 stitches around, you can do three um, patterns repetitions for the stitch pattern that you're doing on that as long as you got that multiple of four uh 14. yeah 
you could do those mm -hmm. stitch patterns in it because you don't know, okay. yeah, yeah. have an account when you're working in yeah. the rounds with a stitch pattern you don't add the additionals but no, if it says 14 to... plus one for your foundation, your foundation shine, bro. you got to add that one but if it says plus two after that because some books read 14 plus one plus, plus two, two. That two or that that extra plus is always your turn and chain portion of it. Mm -hmm. But that plus one is required to get that pattern. I've noticed yeah. that a lot with stitches like um when it starts off with like the box or like if you need to have like a double at the end and like for, for filet. If you have a double at the end and a box, you know, one at the bottom and one at the top, then you do your double crochet. If you're trying to form like that square in your initial foundation, I see that quite a bit, like the plus two plus one or but i see that a lot it took me a while to get because i would always leave the one out or you know like one of the numbers out but i yeah unless yeah. the stitch pattern specifies that it's done in the round all most of all the books that i have they're done based on the chain mm -hmm. yeah so mm -hmm. if you wanted to make a poncho using one of the stitch patterns you would eliminate the extra chains that you need for the turning chain and you would just start right see, into your pattern see this one right here you can make it by mosaic design because it's just really three pieces and this is three pieces only you can crochet and you can make it to your own design this is three mm -hmm. this is this one right here is the back okay and these two right here is the two pieces go in the front so you can make it this right here, like a, you was you, you was confused. You say not confused, but you say you towel. Oh gosh, there was, two, there was three pieces, but you know, but um, uh, but you I know, got him um, but, but okay, but you know, but you can uh make in three three pieces and it said the two if you like to. This one right here, and that's what they in fabric, you know. But you can see it, this right here is making for like a um different um yeah design i mean the fabric yeah this one right um, here you can create it and and mosaic well let's so try to block him because he wouldn't let me i blocked him on the one okay oh wait yeah can you remove the comment the one, so maybe that's why <clears throat> um Zoe was asking, oh, do you crochet the pieces together or sew them together with thread you use the yarn in a darning needle right so you yes. just use the same yarn that she's using for the project in um yes you know a darning needle and she does it so yeah. that way yeah i saw it and i crush i'm not doing this like what the hook i, I like saw it with yeah the, yeah with the name um also yeah. quilty crochet is asking v do you have a pattern for the stripe one i from what i understand we don't have any patterns <clears throat> excuse me yet she knows how to make i mean she has them written down in her term hopefully in the future i don't but um I'm, I'm 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 gonna make in some tutorials i can make, i won't work with working in this one right here to make tutorials but i can't because english is not my first language it is so hard to write it down and you know so for me this is kind of a little hard so i prefer doing some videos and tutorials so thank yeah. you Sandrine. yeah um it's okay jim we got them <laughs> Come in here disrespecting my dude. What the crap wrong with you, Yuri? Genius and crochet. <laughs> have, I've never tried loom knitting. Um, I don't know if anybody yeah. else has. Hey, Gigi, knits and crochets. I've I've loom knitted hats before, but I've I've never done anything past a hat. So. No, my, um, like I said, my mom she tried to teach me to do a knitting. Hey, Mama G. Um, I actually you had intros. And I sent I one to my before. niece, and the other one is on its way to someone else. So maybe they'll get more use out of it than I did. <laughs> I know who. <laughs> hey, um, Quincy, yes, I, I will. Um, yeah, I will. Her point, her whole, her whole point of us sharing this is so y'all can start making your own pieces, and not per se. If you can crochet, you can design yeah yeah and if a lot of the times we we don't do our own designs because we're not sure of what to do and that is why we're showing y'all ladies 
what you need to do. Hey, mm-hmm. Ola Joe, welcome in. Hey, hey um, Andrea. Um, you know what you need to do hey, to create Angela. your own design. Yeah. And I'm yeah, like, Mama, yeah. y'all probably saying, well, Jenny, what you design? I don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time. But that's I mean, next year, y'all. Just start with something start really with easy, something. you know, create your own mm-hmm. sign, you know, just try and measure yourself. If you cannot measure yourself, hey, measure, uh, you can ask somebody in your house, measure this right here to right here and tell me how much it is, you know, how, and I can make it my uh, picture, and that's right here. Take a your book. When you created something, take a note so that way you're not forgot. Because you're going to, don't get discouraged no matter what, and that goes for anything that we make. You know, if if you're new at making, trying to make a a cardigan or a purse or a tote bag or whatever it may be, and you're trying it out with your own pattern for the first time, it may not go the way that you would like for it to go, but don't get discouraged and just think it's going to be 100% the first time. Be prepared to have the frog stum. It don't fit. It don't look right. Let me frog stum and, or try it on as you go. It's not, like someone said earlier in the chat, I apologize, I forget, but I think it was Sabrina. Who said also you could try it on like as you go to see if it's fitting correctly before you get too far you know but don't yeah. don't get discouraged and just give up the first time it, it may not go the way that you'd like even 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 making the tutorials i mean i want to say just go and uh, see some tutorials how the people they doing the stuff and they can give you the ideas how you can create your own design not the same but it give you the idea, you know. People they have beautiful and amazing tutorials. I'm just saying, you know, this. I said one day, one day I could be like that person. <laughs> and you, 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 you know, I mean, I'm I'm still learning. I mean, I'm still learning. Like I said, my mom, she was teaching me. My grandma, you know, teach me how to crochet for many many years. But uh, I've been creating my own designs, you know. So, yeah. And I created more some blankets and, you know, baby clothes. Well, not baby clothes, but like uh, shoes and stuff like that. But I mean, pretty much. I mean, not. I'm not. I'm not like to go doing some baby stuff because it's. I want to say it, it's complicated. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty tiny pieces and you know and I just like not for me, you know. You know. I so. agree, Zoila. She does. I tried oh, taking that so to uh, uh, Ola Joe and I, it wasn't successful. So, <laughs> Margaret, Margaret you know, she know. made her first hat, my own pattern, because of you three. Even though I used crappy yarn, it looked nice. Now I need to try to do it top down instead of bottom up. There yeah, you go. There we go. See, that is just the point. So excited. Thank you, Margaret. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, just just reverse what you did start from the top and come down yep if you know how to increase in the round increase until you think it's enough and then do one more final row and then start working your pattern down that's right so i love one and then there's multiple ways welcome in sissy liz Liz. welcome Welcome liz Liz. (laughs) and night bot doesn't stop working Oh, Night Bot yeah. didn't like me at all tonight, but he lo- listen. Sis V was like every other one. Boom, boom. he loved Sis V. <laughs> Even on her live the other day, Night Bot was doing its thing. Oh, <laughs> I'm a borrow V's Night Bot. <laughs> it might be because I logged out of Night Bot. Y'all reckon? You guys oh, keep Night Bot pulling up, right? Oh, God. Oh, Hi, how are you? Yeah. Yes. I get the chunk. Uh, yeah, one. I mean, yeah. Please, um, when Sabrina's you asking when you do a tutorial, you can speak in Spanish, and then Sabrina, she's tried that in the past. Um, because I mentioned that too, but she in the beginning of her YouTube um journey, mm-hmm. right, and then it wasn't she wasn't really getting the audience that she, it, right? You can explain it. I, I yeah. Don't know. No, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. She wasn't getting like yeah. her channel was growing where she wanted it to grow. Once she started doing English um her channel in english and doing english tutorials she got to where she is now yeah i don't know i, I don't know if it's like closed captions maybe you can do closed captions <laughs> how you speak english uh, but it can translate to spanish yeah kisses kisses <laughs> yes but yeah kisses i mean I, I, I try and yeah yeah but no 
nice yeah she again. tried that in spanish and it didn't work out well for her so she converted mm -hmm. to english mm -hmm. so yeah. but um i mean she she you can I, tell I in know. some of her tutorial she's a little nervous but she's doing a lot better and she's going yeah. she's going if she don't stop she's going to um get the chancla chancla Look at like look 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 little helper right Welcome there. In, Mary. Welcome in, Mary. <laughs> yeah, it's starting to. It's, I just fall back into it, so it should start dropping. Yeah, she gave him the chocolate under the table. That's what she did. Uh -huh. <laughs> Somebody's a chocolate. Let me go back to work. <laughs> I can't you know, that, baby. Oh, no oh, chocolate look. today. I got the slipper today. <laughs> Yeah. They, and look, but that's your chocolate in my own way. I'm looking. <laughs> exactly right. Yep. We they go hurt real good. Oh Lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Sarla. You're so sweet. Oh my God. You are so beautiful, Liz. Oh my Liz God. Is. Yeah. All right, y'all. Yeah. I mean. And Melissa is going go. to show y'all how to do this grout. I'm going to put it underneath mine. Hopefully, it will show. If not, let me know. So, y'all won't be able to see me anymore at all because, one, I'm, I'm going to be in the basement. Before you – um, okay, there you go. Um, Okay. So, I will be showing, like, filet crochet. Um, Before I get into all of that, I wanted to show Which an one? example of oh. one. No, I'm just showing an example of a completed one um, with, a, with the music note. This was a practice okay, well, one. Let I me know when I need to switch them. Yep, I will. I made my hubby actually a tool runner in all right white. Now, it's looking pixelated really bad. So. Who I am? No, this piece of paper. I'm going to hold it up closer to the camera. Okay. So, um... Thank you, Andrea. Thank you. So um, basically, filet crochet, you can use graphs like this one right here. Um, first, I want to give credit to this graph. To You can go to DeviantArt, um, D-E-V-I-A-N-T-A-R-T.com, who has this heart graph and a couple others. And it's by Rias, R-Y-U-U-S, wardrobe. Um, it's a solid heart grid crochet pattern. Um, and so basically... I used a different one, but it's similar. It's the same thing. Oh. Yeah, I, I took the pattern. So when you're going to talk, you ain't talking about the pattern yet? Yeah, I am. But I was, the showing, them the, um, heart, I was showing them the heart one, really, that I, that's completed. But yeah, so um, this pattern. So basically this one. Oh, there you go. So it's like this, okay, just so you can understand the pattern. So the middle that's solid is what you're going to see. Um, in the pattern that Sushini is about to hold up. And then this is going to be the mesh in the background. Okay, go ahead, Sushini. You can pull it up. Okay. So this one, as you see... Um, Let me it up, yeah. <laughs> um, and this one actually tells you at the bottom what to start with. Some of them won't. Um, but it says, like, at the bottom, 1 through 11. Now, really, each square counts for 2. So instead of... And so I, underneath, I'm confused. It says chain 38. This is what came with it. But me personally, that's not what I would chain. You would do your 22 plus 4. That's how I do my heart. Um, so you're going to do your 11. Because remember, each one is 2. So to get your um, mesh, you need to do, um, you'll do your double crochet. You'll do your chain 1, double crochet. Or your skipping 1, sorry. And then you double crochet. So instead of 11 stitches, your foundation row is going to be 2. Oh, I can't even talk. 22, sorry. <laughs> um, and with the filet crochet, you go back and forth. So you do your foundation row, you know, your regular chains, I'm sorry. Then you're going to go go up to your second row and go to the right. Um, you're going to follow the pattern. So a good way to, con to follow this pattern is putting arrows on the side where the numbers are. Um, I know I, yeah, so right. Yeah, so it, so you know which way you're going. It's easy to con get confused. So, yep, there you go, Sis Jeannie. Thank you. I don't know why I get nervous when I talk. <laughs> um, yeah, see that? So basically, you're working just back and forth. You're you're when you complete one row, you turn and go back to the next row. And you but you have to remember. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, 
so and and that's in, for the heart it's easy because it's, it's equal on both sides but if you have a pattern like the music note that's not the case so you really have to pay attention to okay i'm coming from the right side and i only have four blocks you know what i mean because it's going to be different on the left side so you really got to make sure that you know which way you're coming and which way you're going um if it's not equal like the heart is does that make sense yeah okay um you could also use cross stitching patterns um you would also double you would just double your your um, numbers like you would for a cross stitching pattern you can use a c2c pattern um yep there you go thank you sis um okay so, so this being a cross stitch pattern so this would be your cross stitch design correct yeah yep so this would be your fillet, your open spaces. Yep. yep. So yep. when you got to here, you would do your double crochet solid, right? Yeah. Just like you would oh. with a regular yep. fillet grout. Yep. So when you get to that that row five, is that? Yeah, row five to the solid, the first solid square, you would do a double crochet in the middle. Just instead of doing like skipping one and doing a double, you know what I mean? You would fill in that one box with a double crochet. Um, and this one's numbered different is if you pay attention. This one, it, I like how it's numbered. It, yes, one, two, it goes back and forth. It's just not numbered like one through 11 on each side. This one's easier to understand and to know which side you're coming and going from. Um, it, so there's really not your a lot chain, Yep. Your chain would start here, here. and go here. No. Your chain would start nope, there and backwards. then here and then you turn. <laughs> yeah, the and you opposite, come back yeah. this way. Well, that you would you do your foundation chain. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So no, your first four rows would basically in this pattern, Melissa, be all fillet crochet. Yes. Yeah. Which would be what is is most fillet like a double crochet chain one, skip one, or is it double yeah. crochet chain two, skip two? It's chain one, um, chain one, skip one, double crochet. Just like this okay. one I have in my hand, I'll show them. Um, it'll, it, may, it may be easier to um, under to understand. Maybe I guess I don't know. But I but the ones I did. That look good. Yeah, I see it good. Okay. Okay. Um, so I actually had a question, real quick question. She yep. said, do I start at the one or 11? You would start at the one. The first one, okay, the reason why I brought two to do is to show you that there are, there are so many different graphs you're going to see, and they may be confusing. The first one is confusing. Um, mm -hmm. You're going to start at the one. Um, okay. I don't like the first graph that I found online. This one that says Jeannie's showing okay. you right now, this one to uh -huh. me is the best one I found. Um, okay. it's not the one that I use, but the one that I personally used, um, only has the two mm. mushrooms at the bottom, but it's not like, I'm not like, it's, I don't have permission to show it. So I'm showing this mm. one. So the second one, this one, this is Jeannie showing, I would say go by the numbering's better. You start at one, you work down yeah. to number two. Um, the heart mm. is, I, I feel the easier one to do, because if you look, everything's it's equal on the right and equal on the left. So yeah. when you do, you know, if you're halfway through, you have row number 11. You have four of the mesh, and then you have all your salads in the middle. On the other end, you have four of the mesh. So it's equal on both sides. Now, um, Sis Jeannie, if you could put me up really fast. Yes, and I have some here that I got free um, that I can also show, too. Oh, cool. Um that also show the um the rows the way they should be and and now you got to keep one, in mind too go ahead melissa okay. now this is what i was trying to explain like the heart is equal if you look up at this you just think it's equal on both sides now with the music note that i did it's not so on some sides you have um you know all of these maps so you put her solo janie oh yeah Sorry thank you that. Okay, there so with we go. the music note, you have like, you can see like I numbered them up just so I didn't put the arrows just so because some don't have the air, you know, 
just so I would know which way I'm coming and going. Because if, as you can see, like right here, row 15, mm. there's only three here at this side, but on the opposite side over here, there's a lot more than three on the same row. Yeah. But it's really yeah. important to put your arrows so you know, because you know how many times I've had to frog because I actually was on this side, but thought I was on the opposite side. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? I'm probably uh, not explaining it right, but yeah. um, with the heart, it's equal on both sides. So each, mm. oh, yes. Um, yes, Mama J. Um, yep. So right. you, would do, you would do your foundation um, down here at the bottom. And the meshes, it's a double crochet, chain one, skip one, double crochet. Chain one, skip one, double crochet. And that's all you're doing for the mesh part. When you get up to where mm. the pattern starts right here, all you're doing is filling this box in. You're putting a double crochet there. Oh, okay. Huh. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's just filled in, Mama J, by the double crochets that's next yeah. to it from where you're doing your mesh. Yeah, so like say this um right here. <coughs> just one of these random squares. All I would do to fill that square in is right here where I did the skip one, I would just do the double crochet right there. You would do it right in the top of yes, that. Yes, Ayla. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Ayla. She said frog mean to start frog over. Frog mean to start no. over. Not, not start over. Frog but, means you know. go back to where you messed up at. <laughs> so like yes. Instance, yes. Like only that the part. Yes. One. Sorry. So yes. I did the big one in white for my, my hubby. There was a few times because I, you, once you get the hang of it, you it is fairly easy. So I'd be watching TV, and then I realized, wait a minute, I'm going the wrong way. So I'm looking at the opposite <laughs> side of the pattern, and I would get so frustrated. So I would have to frog it and take out if it's three rows or one row, just frog it, take out what you messed up on, not all of it. A stitch marker. Yes, they got a good too. suggestion. Yeah. Put a stitch mm -hmm. marker on the front side so you know what side you're on. Yeah. Because yeah, that is if you're looking at your pattern, and row two would be the wrong side. So when you get to row three, put your stitch marker there. That way you know you're on the right side. Yeah. If the pattern is written right. Now, you do have to if keep in mind right. that yeah. all patterns are written by different people. Um, So everybody's yeah. patterns are going to be written different. And some patterns, welcome in, Stacy and Isla. Welcome in, Stacy. Um, Sis Liz, yes, you would, Liz. um, yeah, you would start off with the mesh, um, and you don't, um, do like all mesh and then go back and connect. You would just say, continue your mesh row here, like this is the third row, um, and it's calling for, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, in the seventh square, mesh square. So the pattern called for the seventh mesh square to be solid. So when I got to my, my okay, so when I did my six, um, you know, mesh squares, knowing that my seventh one, I would just, I would just continue on like I would. I would do my my double here. I would do a double in the middle, and then continue on with your your mesh pattern like you normally would. So all you're doing is sticking one double crochet in the middle, in like the middle put here. A, put a little bit more up, Melissa. A little Ooh, bit I'm more sorry. up. There we go. Oh, there we sorry. go. No, so no, no, that's doing, okay. It's okay. All you're doing is basically putting a double crochet to fill in that um the mesh square. Can you not I'm sorry if you can't see. Yeah, right there. There you go. And it's right a light there. color. But yeah, so you would do your mesh, right? This square you're uh -huh. just gonna do one double crochet in the middle. Between the and the little box yeah. right there. So that means yep. that the point right the here. Heart, when you, yeah. Okay. And then you would continue on to do your mesh the rest of the row. When you get to the next row, you would just do count your squares and your pattern. You know, same thing here. Yeah. You would do your mesh, yeah. squares, sorry, mesh squares. And then once you get to the point, you're just doing that one double crochet. So each dot here is one double crochet in the middle of the mesh square. Yeah. I'm probably not explaining it. Is is. No, 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 no. That's that's good because I thought um I thought I can do that one only in cross stitch and the cross stitch you know like uh I was yeah. not, I didn't even because I don't know how to read the, those parts so I just like I don't know how to start those. 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> that, that yeah actually, other people have a tutorial. Um, Spring, are you still here? I think it was her. I don't remember who. I want to say Spring, the fiber enthusiast. If I'm correct, she may she has a, tut a tutorial of a heart. Um, oh, you're welcome, Sis Liz. Fill in the fillet box block. Thank you, Spring. Spring, are you? Do you have a tutorial for fillet? Yes, Jen. Thank you. I get so nervous when I try to explain. I feel like I'm not explaining it correctly. So thank you, everybody. Thank you. Yes, you do. You're, you're okay, doing good. Great. You're doing good. Yes. Thank you. But yes. you can take any cross stitch pattern that you have yep. in a book. Yep. And you can do fillet crochet with it. You can even change the colors out or do whatever you want to with it. And that'd be a lot yep. of changing colors out. But yep. most fillets are done worked in solid colors from what I've seen. Yep. I tried to do my hubby's tape the music because I did all I showed you ladies all white one. I tried to change color because mm -hmm. he wanted like the black music notes inside the white mesh. Uh -huh. I couldn't get it. I could not get it. I looked into it more and there's a better way to do it called interlocking um crochet Interlock. So, mm -hmm. yeah so i was just like okay you're getting it all one color okay so spring does have a tutorial um thank you spring she has a tutorial for um a heart mesh to i think it's heart she has a mesh tutorial so anybody interested in learning it better than what i explained it go to spring's channel um and check her tutorial out oh that's good i have like um, over there. Uh, BJ, over. she asked, she asked that you're gonna do the review about the hooks that you know, did last uh, past Saturday, and I yep. tell her, yes, you're gonna do it, but you know, when you can't, yeah. Hi, Lama, super, super, DJ, welcome in. Yes, thank you. Yeah, she's been pretty good. Uh, welcome in. Super, welcome in. Super, super, DJ, why, DJ, why? Hi. <laughs> Thank you, Maribel. There it is. There's Spring's tutorial. Maribel dropped Spring's tutorial on a um, fillet crochet. Thank you, Maribel. Because, yeah, I have a fillet yes. crochet book over there. And that thing is so darn confusing. I love it. I love it. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's why I find it well, easier, what, what, honestly, to do a cross stitch. Once you get the basics of fillet crochet, you literally uh -huh. can look at any C2C graph, cross stitching graph, um, knitting, even a knitting graph that has a shape of something. As long as it's, it's squares like like these are, like a, like a cross stitching would be, uh, you could use any of that for fillet crochet patterns. It's, and the way they have them written out, I mean, once you get the hang of it, you don't even need the numbers or you just have to know the basics and you can turn anything into fillet crochet. Mm -hmm. That's now good. Let's see good. here. This is a free pattern off a of red heart. Hold on, sis. Go back to yourself. We can't. Oh, there you are. Oh, look. And I'm going to show y'all the difference in how the patterns are written. They are all okay. so different. Focus. Let it focus. This is the chart key. So in this one, you're you're chaining two between. Oh, each and you're level. doing two. Probably because it's thread. Yeah. And ah. see, this is your chart guide. If it's a solid square, you're gonna work one double, chain two, skip two, and work a double. If it's a solid, you're gonna work four doubles. Spring, I think I just explained it in the dyslexic term. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a free And what this system. shows is at the beginning of every row and at the end of every row, you, you have a double crochet. And this is your chain. So you start here. This is your chain, your foundation row. Then you come back to two. Then you come back to three. Then four and five, so forth. You just work back and forth like that. Yeah. And my thing but it, it, it is easy to. Yeah. It's, it's easy sometimes. They also have to, um, on their alphabet too. Where'd you get that, that one from? Red heart. 
Red Heart. Really? And they have them in different um font size, font styles. So I'm gonna have to look that up to me. All right, let's get to the pattern. I have your pattern that I posted up on the community tab, and you ready? We're going to get to the pattern, and then Melissa's going to let y'all know what she thinks about the hooks that she reviewed. Yes, ma'am. Can y'all see that? Mm -mm. No, it's blurry. It's blurry. No, no, no. You know what, can you take a picture of it, sis, and pull it up that way? A standstill picture, like share your screen on the picture, like email yourself the picture and maybe share it. Oh, the way you want to show this up on the website. website. Oh, there you go. Even better, Melissa. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, <laughs> help me. <laughs> I'm talking about taking a picture. Yeah, let me go to the website. Oh. Oh She's God. like, I'm gonna go to the website. I'm not doing all that extra oh stuff. Mm -mm -mm. You asking for a little too much there, huh? I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I need to find like, my chocolate. I need some sugar. Like you just gave me a hot flash. My ears are all hot and red. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting hungry. Oh, God. <laughs> You find a power surge, like Linda says, power surge. I'm gonna fill my drink. I'll be right back, ladies. And I'm just gonna search for it so I can go on and get it. Yeah, we're gonna have a party when I get better internet. <laughs> yeah. We're, We're gonna, gonna party like it's 1999. Mm -hmm. What? You never heard that song? Mm -mm. Party like it's 1999. Hello, Anita from Mississippi. No, sorry, from Memphis, Tennessee. Welcome in, Anita. How you doing, Anita? Welcome to the Johnny Fiber Sisters. Oh, Prince. Okay, probably I did, but my husband he he like he like to hear Prince too. I don't. <laughs> The only, if I'm not wrong, if we're talking the same friend is the one that's singing the, is, the song is called Purple Rain. Yes. Yep. Okay. Okay. That's, I'm going to say that was the only song I like it. <laughs> yeah. What? Purple Rain. Purple Rain. That's amazing. I like Prince. I like Prince's voice. voice. Uh-huh. All right, there I'm going to go back to the voice. other camera now, y'all, so y'all can see me. Okay. Not that y'all want to, but anywho, oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> oh. I, Perfect mean, time like I, I was looking like a, like a, for a little girl. I, I'm looking like a little girl looking for my chocolate. I need some Where's chocolate. chocolate? Y'all can see that now? Ooh, Perfect. Yes. yes. Perfect. Y'all can see the whole thing or just part of it? Part. Part of it. Making a big screen right there? You're, yes, Michelle. Now is it big, all of it? Um, yeah, you can um, see it. If you scroll up, I mean, you might have to scroll down to get to the last couple stitches. But... Um, um, can you enlarge it a little uh, bit? Go little back, bit go back the same way you was. Go back in the same because in the other one uh, I can see more clear. Well, I don't know what everybody see. I don't see like. Or take uh, take me and V off and put like put us in the basement. No, <laughs> you're not gonna take nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Get to the basement. <laughs> 
Which one is the mm -hmm. other way you have, Janie? It was in a small screen and it was, everybody can see better. Yeah, you had the top of the pattern, but it was only yeah. half the pattern. It was like, the, yeah, it, I'm was, trying it was to find fine the, because. Uh, okay, here we go. Now, now where did that go? <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, Jenny. Oh, my goodness. Can you see it now? Yeah. It's just um, a pattern. Can... It's, uh, it's, you can't, we can't read the pattern well because it's not big enough. Well, I got it blowed up as big on my screen as I can get it. And if I do it any other way, then it's not. Uh, if I blow it up using the magnifier, y'all not gonna be able to see it. The first time you had okay. it up there, we could read it. Uh, yeah, the first time when you put it up on the screen, it was really, really clear. They only had the top half portion, so you'd but have to. It was. It was fine because you can uh, put it. You know, go. Um, y'all can go see it now. Go down. No, it's just the same as just scrolling up and down. Yeah, when I did okay, that, I put it she up said. there. Hey, there, Sky. Welcome in, sweetie. Margaret, she said she could read it on her iPad. Welcome in, dark Sky. Everyone, you, you I, I, I mean, we want to know that y'all can see it really clear or not. Please let us know. Let us know. Let us know. So, it, that what part you want to show. Well, let me try it this way. Hold on a second. Zoom in the parts that you want to show. Yeah, okay. all I just she said is blurring. On my end. Share. Share screen. No, ma'am. BJ said no, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, oh, Sabrina's on her cell Not phone. That. Yeah, she, I can't read. Oh, Zoila took a picture so that she'll zoom in later. See, it's opening up in, in Explore. It's not opening up in Google. Go in, can you go into Google and type it in? Like copy and paste the link into Google, maybe? It may still do the same thing. When you bring it to the screen the first time, it was really, really clear. Well, you made me mess it up. <laughs> oh, you no. We can't see all the patterns. my mouth. <laughs> no, because I have to download it, Melissa. Um, When I open it up in Google. Hold on a minute. I'm going back to it. Oh, yeah, because I, when I downloaded it, it took it to, it took me to my um drive, I think. My downloads on my phone. Yeah, and mine op it opens up as a PDL, so. Oh, Joe's going to open up her laptop to see if there's a difference. But if y'all on your phone or on your tablet or anything like that, you can go to premiereyarns.com. Click on the search icon and type in mesh and block shawl, and y'all can pull it up that way as well. Now I'm fixing but to try to share. You. They might not be able to hear Window. you and view it. <laughs> so let's just say, I'm dropping my job. <laughs> okay, what about now? One. It's the same. I'm trying to see what the top highlight. Hold on, the cookies. There you go. Wait, hold on. Whatever you're doing right there. There you go. There you go. Ah. You just have to see if you can take your arrow. You no, just go, go. Yeah. If you could, yeah, we can only see some of the words. If you can move, like. Mm -mm. No, but See if again. I if I see I'm having to minimize it to get it to come in clear. See right no, there? That's clear. 
That is clear. Yeah, but now, she's having to minimize the screen, so it's not going to let her see the whole pattern, though. Oh. Yeah, see. I can minimize it down like that, but y'all can't see it, right? No. Um, Sweet Liz, I'll text it to mm. you. Um, I have the link. See, uh, everybody's that's clear. But that's clear. That is clear. It's clear, yeah. At the bottom, is there an arrow so you can move it? There you Yellow go. in the basement. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Hey, okay, that's okay. Just, you know, just put all the thing on the screen so. Mama J put the link to the pattern in the box too. You're welcome, sis. I promise I'll do it right after our live. I, I won't forget. Oh, Lord. Now oh, let me God. see if I can Lord. make that big. Is there an arrow at the bottom, sis? Like where you can move the bottom over? Let's see what? share you know how sometimes it go? it's got the arrow on the side to go up and down sometimes and you yeah. minimize the bottom has one as well well not that one jean this one. <laughs> uh focus genie Fuck. lord i'm gonna show y'all show y'all everything on my computer i Good thing I yeah, got no, well, no, that's no, what I was saying. nobody to see. That's, like that's what I'm saying, you know. <laughs> there should be a bar on the bottom, like the gray side one. Yep, there should be. But when you pull up the um, the thing, you should be able to show just these. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh gosh. See, that's it. And it don't even give me a little slide bar to slide it either. Enlarge it. Like push the full square. I did. And the only thing I'm doing is seeing it. Oh. Um. Let's see if I if I do that, then it stops sharing it. See. Hmm. Okay, let me go back to this other camera. I'll hold it up for you. AT and T really sucks. Mm -hmm. I hate them. Okay. Oh, you got AT and T. Yeah, I have AT and T. All right. So to read a pattern. This is a free pattern at premiereyarns.com. If you click the search button, you type in mesh and block shawl, then it will come up. I'm going to hold it up for y'all where it'll come in clear. And not all of their patterns have the levels. And what a level means on a pattern is, is it easy, intermediate, or advanced or experience? Jenny, sorry, interrupting you. Did you want me to share the screen for that one? Yeah. Okay. Let's do that, Vic. Mm. Okay. And then I'm just going to make it big on my side so I can see. Y'all won't be able to see the chat, but Melissa and Veronica will be monitoring that for me, so... Yeah. Okay. So go down to the up underneath the picture, Veronica, and bring it over. See, that's what I was trying to do right there. But mine won't let me for some. That's okay. I got a fix for that. I got another monitor I can hook up. There we go. Go all the way down to the bottom. Underneath the name of the pattern. That right one? there where it says level. An intermediate. Okay. You're good right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. Okay. The level will let you know 
is this pattern an easy pattern or is it a intermediate pattern advanced pattern or an experienced pattern because you have they consider that easy now is what used to be beginners the um yarn council changed the the name of how it's said now so that's why you see different names on patterns now easy or beginner you may see advanced um and stuff like that on patterns but that's what they mean so if you come back up here to the top where it says size now bring it over to the you can get rid of her that's what this pattern as far as the shawl that she is wearing it's a pretty shawl is done using a sweet roll dk um that's got to be those new ones that i don't like yep it is the sweet roll dk yarns it says you only need one cake to make that pattern one size that means one size should fit most but i know i would have to keep going with that pattern in order for me to get a good fit for my body size so you can't always just because it says one size someone orders a shawl from you and you find this free pattern and you want to make it and it says one size and just say they're a 2x or 3x you would have to add to it and keep going and make it bigger for that person because if you look at her, she's tiny. I'm not yeah, tiny. <laughs> <laughs> and you see how it's draping over on her. So you would have to keep increasing it to get that expansion for a bigger person in order for it to fit them right. Mm -hmm. That looked like a little handkerchief on me. <laughs> Lord V, what you doing? <laughs> <laughs> some patterns you got to be careful a lot of patterns are size small to extra large but there's also a key to that as well if you notice on a pattern and i i had one but um patterns that are are um created using sizes and they only go from a small to an extra large look at your chain foundation and see how many chains you have to chain for each size because it's, it's not on this one veronica because it's oh. going to be the exact same number of chains we're going for example if you see a pattern that calls for 64 chains for a small then we're going to say the medium is 80 uh 72 that means they added eight more chains then the large would be 90 i mean 80 then the extra large would be 88 so if you wanted to make a 1x you would add eight more chains and do 96. if you wanted to do a 2x you would add eight more and be 104 and so forth you just add the same number of chains that they increase by to go from small medium large and extra large so don't if you see a pattern that you like and it don't go up to your size that's okay you can you can you can increase it based on the number of chains that they did from small to medium that's the only ones you need because all the rest of them are going to be the same each size increases by the same number of stitches did i make that clear or did i confuse y'all earth of veronica <laughs> i had it muted and i thought i was talking <laughs> it was clear to me i understood what you were saying you're increasing by eight whatever oh. the pattern calls for by eight for every size going right up. small medium right. large extra large um so on right yep we all got it in any pattern that you do, go back up to finish measurements, Veronica. Okay, let me find out. <laughs> the other way. The other way, Lawrence. Oh, Down. Take your mouth. Take, up, take up. your bar up. Yeah. All right. Your finished okay. measurements means that you will have a wingspan of 58 inches 
and a depth of 30 inches if you use the exact yarn and the needle, the hook that they use in this pattern and you come up with the same gauge. Now they give materials. That's the yarn that they use to create this design. And you can see this was designed by the Premier Yarns design team. Um, they use the Premier Sweet Roll DK, 100% acrylic. It's 4.9 ounces, 140 grams, 541 yards, or 495 meters. So if you don't have that and you have a DK yarn, that is 140 grams, you know you're going to have enough to make that. Now, I will say this about that Sweet Roll DK. Not all DKs is going to be measurable to that because that is not a three-weight yarn. That is really a two. And it's telling you that you will need a size G or number six, four millimeter hook or size needed to obtain gauge. You will need a tapestry needle to sew in all your ends or sew in two ends and one removable stitch marker your gauge this was determined if how you crochet will you come up with the exact same size as they have which is 58 inches and 30 inches long in the depth that means from the time you start to the point of your shawl eight double crochets and chain one times seven rows equals a four inch pattern so you would take your tape measure and you would measure eight double crochets and one chain one space and you should get four inches and then you would go up seven rows and you should get four inches if you do not then you know your tension is different than what they did and you need to adjust it if you want it to be the same size or just do like me and don't worry about it and just crochet until it fits me the way I want it to fit. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I do. I don't, I, I, that's what I do as well. <laughs> yeah. Stitch guide. If you see a stitch guide in a pattern, that means that they have a specific stitch that they're doing in that pattern and they're giving you the instructions on how to create that stitch. So in this case, a block. That means you're going to double crochet in indicated space. You will chain three, which counts as one double crochet a block. And then you will work three double crochets around the post of the first double crochet made. So that means you're going to do a post double crochet. Mm. V-stitch. Mm double crochet chain one double crochet all in the same space that's what an indicated stitch or space means and anytime it's in parentheses like the double crochet chain one double crochet is that means all of that goes into the same space you work all of those stitches in one stitch Anytime you see something in parentheses. Hmm. Pattern okay. notes. You will always have pattern notes usually in a pattern. It says this shawl begins at the center back neck and grows out and down towards the lower edge. Increases at the center and edges create the triangle shape. Chain one spaces do not count as a stitch. That is important to know all right moving on to the actual shawl portion and if you want to bring it over slide it mm -mm, slide this one right it. here yeah can you slide it anymore no okay uh to the poncho mm -hmm. this no. one uh -uh. go back that's good so okay. now we're to the shawl portion this is your pattern to create the shawl. So we're going to chain five and you'll double crochet in the first chain. And note here, 
you see this in parentheses it's telling you that the uh -huh. first four skip chains counts as a double crochet and a chain one so when you get back to the end of that you're not going to work in the top of the fourth chain that you skipped you're going to count from where you turned one, two, three, and you're going to work in that third chain because you got to leave that fourth one for your chain one space. Mm. And then you're going to chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the same chain. Turn. You have four double crochets. Zoila asked if you can repeat that, please. Chain five. And you double crochet in the first chain from the hook. The first four skip chains counts as a double crochet and a chain one. Chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet in that same chain and turn. Soyla, she's basically trying to get you to understand what... Um like what because you know she said commas in between like the parentheses mean all the same chain right so she in that for that chain one double crochet chain one double crochet is all going to be yep. in the same stitch yep in this case they're saying in the chain because you're 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 starting out with a foundation chain I know a lot of shawls are done by a magic circle and stuff like that, but, you know, all of them are created differently. Um, so you chain five. So the, so, so that chain five is, I'm sorry, there's going to be that. That's gonna be the uh, the circle when you go start working around the circle to start making the shawl. Yeah. Double crochet in the first chain, the first chain you made when you made your chain. So right here, they you would put your it. double crochet. See that? No, your hands are the covered yarn. up by your name. No. Do your you want me? Do you want me to stop? Uh, share the screen. Mm -mm. So I'm finna show oh. this like this. See, I made the chain. Okay. And my first chain, the first chain that I made with my hook, which is at the tail here, to form a ring, you work that first double crochet there. And I wish this was working right so I could get on the camera and show them. Sometimes oh, you can yeah. convert it, avoid doing that and do the magic ring, um, Mary. You, you can, you can. Yes, Mary. Yeah, and she said, it's not a circle, B. <laughs> no, no, no. It, 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 oh, it, is a, it is a circle. It is a circle. It is a circle. No, V, See, you're right. right you're asking. Okay. <laughs> First of all, let me get let me get another needle because that one's gonna drive me crazy with this yarn that I grab. Okay, <laughs> the pattern says to you want me, five. Janie, ah, you, Janie you want me to get out? What? Well, nobody ah. can see you. Or yes, they should be Anybody able to see, I can see all of us. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we're gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, five. No, I don't think they can see this. So that's or what they saying in the chat because I can't see the chat. Can you all see? Can you see like what she's doing with her hands in the stitch? One, two, three, four, five. There you go, sis. We can uh, No, a magic ring. Okay, that's a magic ring. Zoila can see. Oh, Sabrina says okay. no. Maribel says yes. So yeah, I guess okay. yes. I know. <laughs> Two, 
So you chain five. Mm -hmm. That's row three. one says three. chain five. Yep. You're gonna wrap your yarn okay. around your hook because it says double crochet in the first chain. So right here's your first chain that you made. So we're gonna double crochet in it just like that. Now what it's telling us is these one, two, three, four skips right here. Bring your hand. Let down. me get in camera. <laughs> one, two, three, four skips counts as one double crochet and a chain one. So if I was doing a tutorial on this, what I would recommend at this point, because it says intermediate, but beginners could do this. I'm going to take a stitch marker and I'm going to count up one, two, three, and I'm going to place it right there. Because when I come back to that point, that's where I want to work into because that fourth chain has to count as my chain one space. You see what I'm, you, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm working. Now, working. we have worked our one double crochet where it says after the chain five. Now we're going to chain one. And in that same space, we're going to work one double crochet. <sighs> Chain one and work one double crochet all in the same chain, just like that. Now you They're could have did if this you can stop magic screen sharing for a minute. They're asking if she can, if you could stop like put Sheeny's hands up is what they're asking. Well, I can make me solo. She ain't got to stop sharing nothing. Oh, okay, Don't there you go. Sharing that. <laughs> yeah, don't touch that. <laughs> okay. So we started out with a chain. Do I need to redo it all together? Let me know what they say because I can't see the chat. Okay. I'm, I'm waiting to see what they say. And Mary was asked, so Mary, what you would do is avoid the chain five and double crochet in the first chain. If you were doing your magic ring, you would do your magic ring and then you would start off where this genie started in the circle. You would just avoid the chain five, one double in the first. That's all. Um, oh, okay. I got it. Let's do this. All right. To so go exactly by what the pattern says. Yes. You're going to chain five. Oh, they're saying it's blurry in there. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. And five. Then it says to double crochet in the first chain so this is the first chain here so i'm gonna wrap my yarn and i'm gonna double crochet into that first chain then the pattern tells me that the four skip chains counts as one double crochet plus a chain one so i'm gonna count one two three and place a stitch marker so i know that that is the place that i work into when i get back to it because that fourth chain is serving as my chain one space. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Then you're going to chain one. And you're going to work a double crochet into that same space. Chain one. And double crochet into that same space. Just like that. And that's what it should look like. Now, if you're doing a <clears throat> magic circle, that's, this is how I do mine. And I always secure mine with a little slip knot. <clears throat> you're going to chain three, four. Still going to chain four. Because you got to have that extra stitch for your chain one space. And you're going to work one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. And you got four double crochets and one, two, three chain one spaces. Then you take your tail and you pull it tight. 
See, now it looks just like what we just did with the chain five. Me personally, if I was making that myself, following that pattern, I would have did the magic circle from the beginning. Um. So now we're going to go back to the pattern. Now we completed row one. Now it says turn and then chain four. I chain and then turn. I don't like to turn and then chain because it twists the, the, the chain. So what they're saying now is you're going to chain four. And turn. And you're going to double crochet in that same stitch right there. And that chain four is going to count as a chain three plus one. You, you chain one space. You just formed a V-stitch. V, you working it, ain't you? I'm working. Thank you for the Mimi raid. Thank you. So now you're going to chain one. And in the next double, top of the next double crochet, you're going to work another V stitch, which is a double crochet. Chain one and double crochet. Just like that. Oh, no. I messed up, y'all. Don't pay me no attention. <laughs> okay, after the first V stitch is done, we're going to chain one and double crochet into the next double crochet in the top of it. Chain one. And we're going to V-stitch in the next chain one space, which is double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And if you don't know what they're, what it means for V-stitch, you can always go back and look at your um, stitch guide where it says a V-stitch. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet, which means all in the same space. Chain one, double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain one, V-stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain. Turn. You should have three V-stitches and two double crochets. I will finish this and I will show y'all. Because remember, we're increasing in the middle. Is the, the pattern said that you're increasing in the middle and on the edges. So if we got here and we did our four doubles with one chain space in between each one. That was our first row. Then we chained four and we turned. And we worked a V-stitch in the top of that very first double crochet right there. We chained one. We double crocheted in the top of the next double crochet. Chained one. We V-stitched into the chain one space. By doing one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet. Then we chained one. We double crocheted in the top of the next double crochet. Then we chained one. And then one, two, three. In that third stitch, third, third chain, we worked another V stitch. And that chain four right there serves as our chain one space. So it's starting to look like a little fan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
and then on row three you would chain four and turn and you're going to double crochet in the same stitch so you're going to have a v-stitch at the beginning of that row and remember the chain four counts as a double crochet plus chain one the fourth chain becomes your chain one i'm speaking in pattern right pattern terms you're going to chain one and double crochet chain one in each double crochet to mark chain one space now it didn't say nothing about marking anything did it and this is why I'm, i picked this pattern because it can i want to show y'all that patterns can be confusing I'm making sure that I did not. Oh, I missed the part in row two. What they want you to do if you go back up to row two, it says place marker in chain one space of V stitch just made. That's going to be your center V stitch. They don't want you to lose it. Hmm. That's going to be delightfully right caught that right when you did. <laughs> huh? Delightfully stitched. The same time that you said it, she said it says PM in row two. <laughs> right. Same time you said it. Right. So we would chain four. One, two, three, and four. And we're going to double crochet in that same stitch. And we're going to chain one, double crochet, chain one in each double crochet. So that's that one. Chain one, double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain one and double crochet into the next double crochet. So basically what you're doing is working up v stitch on the end then chain one double crochet chain one double crochet chain one and double crochet till you get to your v stitch in the middle that you would have put a stitch marker at once you reach that you're going v stitch inside that chain one space So chain one and work a V-stitch inside the chain one space. Chain one and work a double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain one, work a double crochet into the next double crochet. Chain one, double crochet into the next double crochet chain one now we're going to work a v-stitch in that v-stitch that we put here on the end double chain one and double in the third chain you'll work your v-stitch and that's going to help keep it straight. All right, I'm going to lay this down. Oh, shoot, I just ripped it off. <laughs> the yarn tangled up. And there's um online, there's a lot of keys that you could get, like stitch keys that you can get and save to your devices. I think that's also a really good thing to do to understand what the terminology is. So when you're doing a pattern mm -hmm. like she's teaching you, then you know what, you know, um, certain abbreviations mean. All right. We're going to go back to row one. We chain five. If you chain five, you worked one um, double crochet in that first chain. Then you chained one. You worked another double crochet in that same chain. Then you chained one and you worked another double crochet in that chain. 
and you should have four double crochets and three chain one spaces. We chain four, double crochet in the same stitch, which means at the base of your chain four, which counts as one V stitch. Remember your chain four counts as a double crochet plus a chain one space. Then, after you made your first V-stitch, you're going to chain one, double crochet in the next double crochet, chain one, V-stitch in the next chain one space. This is where you're going to get your point of the shawl. This is forming the middle point of your shawl. They recommend that you place a stitch marker there. That way you know when you get to that, that point, you will have to work a V-stitch inside of it. That's basically what it's saying. Then you will chain one, double crochet in the next double crochet, chain one, and V-stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain. And you're going to turn beginning chain, I don't know what that dash five is, and three <laughs> V-stitches and two double crochets is what you should have on row two. So I have three V-stitches and two double crochets. Then row three, we chained four. We worked a double crochet in the same stitch, which is forming your V-stitch. Chain one, double crochet, chain one. What that means in parentheses is that's what you're going to do in each double crochet. We're not working in the chain. We're just working in the top of the double crochets from the row below, from the previous row. Until you get to your chain one space that you have your stitch marker in. And then you will work a V-stitch, which is um, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Then you will repeat that on the other side where you will chain one and double crochet in each double crochet till you get to your turning chain. Then you will chain one and work a V-stitch in the third chain of your turning chain. Then you will have six double crochets and one, two, three V stitches. So basically what you're doing right now with each row, this, you can say that this part right here was a V stitch formed and you have one double crochet on each side. Now you have this V-stitch. Now we have two double crochets on each side of it. You have a V-stitch here in the middle. Now we have three double crochets on the side of it. So it's like it's increasing one double crochet at a time in between the end V-stitch and the V-stitch in the middle. So rows four through ten you're going to simply repeat row three. So you would chain four, double crochet in the same stitch, forming a V-stitch. Then you would chain one and double crochet in the next one, two, three, four, five stitches. And then you would put a, a, a V-stitch right here. Then you would chain one and double crochet, chain one, 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 and I would be at my chain four, and I would double crochet in the third chain of V-stitch. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And you just keep repeating that until you get to row 10. Once you get to row 10, 
you're going to chain four then it says to double crochet in the same stitch which we're forming the v-stitch so at the beginning of every row and the end of every row you are working a v-stitch in the third chain of every turning chain did that make sense yeah <clears throat> excuse me so, yeah yeah so so the round four to ten that's the same thing you did in Row and the three. round number, don't, yeah, row number three. Okay, yeah. You repeat that. Okay. It says rows okay. four through ten. R E P means repeat. Row three. Hmm. And chain four and turn at the end of row ten. You got to wait till you get to row 10 before you chain four. Then you're going to do a V-stitch, which is a double crochet in the same stitch. Because remember, your chain four counts as a double crochet in the chain one space. Every chain four turning chain counts as a double crochet in a chain one space. So I said, so like, got the beast, the beat change. <laughs> oh, um, then you're going to chain one, you're going to skip the next double crochet, and you're going to double crochet in the next chain one space. then you're going to skip the next double crochet now you see the big bold words that say block in block. next yeah, right here. chain yeah. one space that means you got to come over here to your stitch guide and you got to look and you can see it right there on the screen you got to look and see what you have to do to form the block um you have to move it so over they can't Move it over just a little bit, V. Right there. there. Right here. So where you see the word block at in row 11, you would come to the stitch guide where it says block. And in this, um, the indicated space, once you get to the skip next double crochet in that next chain one space, you would double crochet in the indicated space. You would chain three, which counts as one double crochet of the block. Then you're going to work three double crochets around the post of the first double crochet made. Now I'm going to show y'all how to do that. We're going to pretend that I'm at row 11. So we are not. <laughs> Thank you, Dark Sky. Good night. Okay. So I'm on this. I'm gonna pretend this is row eleven. So I made my V stitch. Now I chained one. I'm going to skip the next double crochet, which is this one right here. Right here. And I'm going to double crochet in the next chain one space. Which is that one. I'm going to skip the next double crochet. And I'm going to... Now it's telling me to look at the block. Now I'm going to go to the stitch guide and it says double crochet in indicated space. So I'm going to double crochet there. Okay. 
And then it says chain three, one, two, and three. That counts as one double crochet as a block. Now we're going to work three double crochets around the post of the first double crochet made. So wrap your yarn. And this is the first double crochet here we made. We're just going to work around it. Three double crochets. Just like that. And that is one block made. Now it's telling us to chain skip the next double crochet and repeat from the asterisk to the asterisk so you go back to the asterisk where it says double crochet and next chain one space and double crochet now we're going to chain one Sorry, y'all, the yarn's tangled up, so I can't crochet no more. Oh, my Jesus, what in the world? Why did I grab this yarn? Because it was closest to me. <laughs> i tell y'all what we'll do. We'll follow back up with this Tuesday, too. Mm -hmm. Hey, is this me? Look at the private um, chat. Just want to let you know. The other, not the comments, the other thing I streamed. Okay, y'all, that is not working. But that's okay, I got a fix. I usually don't connect my yarn like this, but I'm in a a pickle, so. All right, I cut it out. So we formed, we made the block. Did y'all get how to do the block? Or do I need to redo it? A little we're fixing to do, we're gonna do another one now i mean you had you had to work in in the back bringing in the back to the, the that double crochet right you can make it the block right so yeah after we made the block we double crocheted in the next chain one space we chained one yeah. and double crocheted into the next one mm -hmm. now we're here at the point before the point this is the double crochet that we got to do another block on so i made my double crochet we're going to chain three and right on that same double crochet we're just going to work around it and work three more double crochets total and, and that one okay right mm. you know how you work around the the ones in um corner to corner basically the same yes. thing mm -hmm. then we're going to skip here and we're going to because this is the center this would be the center of our poncho right here this is the center v stitch we're going to work a v stitch in that next chain one space Yes, Soila, she's making another block right there into a yes, Soila. Then we're going to chain one. You would skip your next double crochet, which is right here, and we're going to work a double crochet. And then we're going to block in the next chain one space so that block is a double crochet chain three 
and work three double crochets around that double crochet. So that's one, two, and three. Just like that. Then we're going to double crochet into the next, chain one, double crochet into the next chain one space, chain one, and we're going to work a V stitch in that third chain of our turning chain. Now, mine obviously is not going to have as many blocks as the <laughs> row 11 called for because I didn't get to row 11. Yeah. But, I mean, this is just an idea how you can, you know. Yeah, how you read a pattern. You really uh -huh, um, yeah. got to know what your symbols are and the pattern. You have yeah. to look at the stitch guide. Like, you really have to mm -hmm. understand what stitches are. And I will reach yes. out to Premier and see if I can do this Tuesday. Hopefully, they'll get back to me by Tuesday. And if they do, then I will we'll do this Tuesday from the beginning. We should get to at least row 12, row 11, and 12 in it. Um, so if y'all want to. Are you doing your wall hanger on Tuesday? Huh? Are you doing your wall hanger Tuesday? Well, if Premier let me do this, I think they would we'll prefer to out. make yeah. this. Yeah, yeah. yeah we can do better. this one today. Pop it out another and day, it, yeah. We will make it with the pattern, and then we will move to the we'll move the stitch marker thing to next Tuesday. Sounds great. Yeah. And I'll still send y'all the pattern. Don't worry. But once you complete row eleven, you should have eighteen blocks. So if you did not have 18 blocks once you got to row let end of row 11, then you know something was off between rows one through um, ten. Exactly, Zoila. And BJ asked earlier, wingspan. That means both arms sticking out, correct? That means from one point to the next point on the triangle. So right, basically, so from 58 inches wingspan. Yeah, That's so point um, point. yeah, yeah, so basically, uh, I don't have a, your arm sticking okay, out. Okay, if this was a triangle, on you. Lord, like I'm I always measure, to show I you measure my shells, I measure yeah. my fingertip to my fingertip. So if it's just mm -hmm. yeah. from one fingertip to the other, that's how I normally um, would do mine, but everyone, yeah. you know, it's all different. But the word wingspan, she was asking, okay, just pretend this is a triangle that the bottom part is not on there so you would measure from the wing to the wing so okay here we go from here to here would be your wingspan yeah yeah that wingspan is going to be different for everybody like like i said when i do mine i measure my fingertip to my finger or if, if somebody like when they ask me to make a michelle i'll tell them can you let me know um, have somebody measure you with your arms out and from the behind, like like from the back of your middle finger, all the way along your back. Mm -hmm. And then that's how I'll make the top of their thing. Yeah, the length of whatever that measures. Yeah, point to point. Okay. And you can say, yeah. and did y'all see what I just did? I took a square and folded and made a triangle. Yes, did any please. light bulbs go off? Only thing you got to do mm. is make two shawls. I showed you this already. Together. I showed you this. <laughs> That's what I already did. Mm. I just have to sew my yep. top, and I already got. Yep. I already I have my stitch markers there. I'm just gonna sew it up. I use the dazzling. Oh, that's the that's the Ursula. Ursula that's, inspired me. This is. I made like my own pattern and then but I Ursula oh. inspired me to make two I'm like, oh I can make two shawls and yeah do the same thing. So yeah, I you can put it together up. too like that. Yeah, I just gotta sew from the Did shoulder. You want me, uh is that share the screen, Janie? Do y'all wanna pick this pattern oh. back up Tuesday? 
I mean, it's a free pattern, so I don't see where we could get in trouble. I mean, it's not a pay for a pattern. Right. And I'm not no. taking credit for the design. It's made by Premier Yarn mm -hmm. Design Team. So HD, they yeah. do. And we were talking about that a couple weeks ago. Yeah. How Karen Skinny Cakes have um, really pretty patterns on the label. HD was saying. Yeah. Yep. So if y'all want to pick this up Tuesday, we will. And we'll start from the beginning. Even if we don't get it all the way done. Because I promise you I'm not going to stay live seven hours. Carla <laughs> said yes, 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 yes. Worry at the most. Mm. But um, yeah, we can pick this up Tuesday and we can start it. And if we don't finish it this Tuesday, we'll finish it next next Tuesday. Um, unless y'all at that point will feel comfortable enough to you. do it on your own. I mean and that's, by the time that's, we do this, is, mm -hmm. you will know how to read a pattern. Because if you can read I this, I think that's a good idea to too, because a pattern getting to understand how to read a pattern is not it takes some work it's not just going over it you know what i mean like it needs to be like this she just did but like like continue like from the beginning like you said you want to really do a roll up to roll 11 to show them you know so exactly what she did in great detail i think that is because it's going to take yeah i i feel like i get better yeah. at it but I, there's still so much i don't know about reading patterns you know yeah you, you what you can do Janie, and tuesday what well, just do it, at, you know, like a run two or three or two four, and then stop in there and doing the, the rest and the next slide that you're going to do it and just go back like to the crochet along. Can you can understand a step you by step. No, I like crochet faster than that. Well, yeah, but you, yeah, it's you, not a project you're not, for you. <laughs> it's a project. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> But we, for, well, I you feel know, like this. Point. We will at least work through row ten Tuesday because it's a repeat. Rows one through three is your building. But you can't up. you can't crochet fast if everybody else can't catch up to you. No, you I won't. Speedy down, you got speedy. She got fast forward. Uh, Smoke. This is the road runner. No, Marcel. We're not staying up all night again. <laughs> <laughs> not not yes, next week will. though. My husband is home. No, no we're not saying oh, up. No. You want to do we your did. review? We yeah, I'll, I'll, do, I'll do it real quick. Now. Yeah, no problem. Um, yeah, I got them right here. So I just made um, each color, I'll show you what hook is what, but just to show you um, really quickly, each color is from, like, my other squares, like these ladies did, use the same yarn, mm -hmm. um, well, it's all different yarns, but it's the same yarn that we reviewed in the past, but each color is a different hook, I gotta block this thing, but I mean, the middle, please, please. The thank you, mom, there we go, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I can hold it. The, the middle one, it's all wonky. Um, the light blue one, I um, used my new, um, it's an interchangeable, it's by Yarn Mania. Thank you, um, Sabrina. It's by Yarn Mania. It's an interchangeable hook set. Um, here's the hook. Thank you, HD. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you, everybody. Um, so this is what I used first. Size, all of them are size five, but I'll be showing you. But this hook came off of Amazon. There were two different. It's this. Um, when you go to the link, when you go to Yarmania on there, the link. There's two different sets. There's one that's a smaller set, and then there's this one. Um, but this one comes with your oops, backwards. Sorry. What is that? Eight one. Yeah. Eight, nine hooks in here, plus your tool. But then, and then on the other side is your. Um, charger because there's a light on it as well if you need if you want to use the light and then your handle will go in here this middle one pulls out it's velcroed in it also has two more heads in um here like larger ones um this set let me dump it all out i'm lying there's three more heads in here so you get uh, nine 12 different size hooks um, there's three oh, more. Yeah. Um, 
just it, what it is is the smaller one, the, the two millimeter, and then the seven and the is it eight? Yeah, eight, seven and eight. So two, seven, and eight. They give you separate in here. You get stitch markers with it. You get a pair of scissors. You get journey needles. A measuring tape. Hmm. Of course, your instructions. And then what I liked with, about it is, it, and I just lost one somewhere. But um, you get, aside from the one that's on the handle, I don't know where the yellow one went, but you get three different um, grips. So you can change them out, change the colors out. And there's a oh. button on it. There's the button for the light. You would charge it at the bottom. But you can change the grips to different colors. But my first square was done with this hook. Um, in my opinion, whoops, my Velcro just stuck to my square, my granny square. Um, I really like this hook, but <clears throat> I like it a lot. But I've noticed there is one thing that I dislike about this hook. So when crocheting with it, I noticed if you can see, let me see, where's my tool? So you, there's two flat edges here on each side, right? And so you can put your uh -huh. tool on to, to tighten it and hear the click. Where them two flat parts are, sometimes my yarn don't get stuck there, but it's like when you drive and there's a speed bump, you know how, like the little bump? It's like when I'm crocheting, I feel my yarn swipe over it and I just don't like the feeling of it, if that makes sense. It just, I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's that, yeah, I, I know yeah. what you mean, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, um, Andrea. Thank you, Olojo. Um, but other than that, I do like the way that these crochet. Um, and it's called Yarn Mania. So that was the first one that I used. The light gray that's around the light blue. I used my favorite hooks. I think I have period that I got from my sis, Jeannie. The Knit Pro. I used the size 5 as well. I love those. I love these hooks. I use these. I love it. <laughs> um, I love it. You got the paper over here somewhere. But um, these are the Knit Pro that um, again, that Sashini got um sent us, and I love these hooks. I have yeah, no yeah. complaints about these hooks. They crochet so smooth. Um, I just love them. My yarn don't snag on them. I love the, and you can just see the difference. Let me show you. To me, between the middle one and and these are both um, big twists. They're just different um, colors. To me, the yarn or the stitch definition on the gray and the light blue look different. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but up close, I can see um, the stitches. Are, they just look different. So that was the second one that I used. Again, you can get these on um, online. Sashini, these were at, um, where did you get these again, sis? Oh, and hobby. Lovecraft. Lovecraft. No, hobby. Oh, Lovecraft. Hobby. And hobby. 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 Okay. <laughs> Are those double ended? Uh, no, hobby. Hobby. <laughs> Hobie, hobby. Hobby. No, hobby. they're not hobby. double ended. They're just single ended. They're knit pros. Um. Then the the white here, the third one, I use. There's a whole set of these that come with a <clears throat> pair of scissors as well. I think these scissors. Um, you get you get like about, I think eight of them. You get stitch marker scissors and it comes in this bag. And I love these hooks. Um, Sis Jeannie actually let us me and Sis B know about it and we got them and I love it. I like how if you look at the hook itself, like look how deep the um, in, you know what is that called? That's <laughs> right there. Yeah. It's right. yeah. Yes, the throat. Thank you. The throat. It, it grabs your yarn and it, you have no problem with it going in. Like, huh. yeah, I have no problem grabbing my stitches with it. No problem with the yarn. It doesn't squeak for me. Um, and these are really reasonable price. I think they were like, what, $12 this for like eight of them, stitch markers, scissors. Yeah. So, I forgot how much it was. And again, Amazon really cheap, but they work well. Um, the next one, the dark blue up here, I used 
this we had just that and another one i'll show you for a long time she was showing us on on her lives and i'm like i want those i want those well i got them and i also love these um i don't remember the price we do you i know it wasn't much for the set but i maybe like it was like a seven something seven dollars yeah, like eight or nine, nine dollars i think yeah maybe nine, nine dollars yeah. the most yeah and uh, Liz got me hooks like that. Liz, I got that pack. Yeah. And these crochet really well. Um, I have no complaints. And when I seen them and, per when we per and my husband purchased them, I was thinking like I was no I liked them because of design. You know, they're pretty. Yeah. But I had in my mind they were going to be heavy, but they're not. They're really no. light when you crochet. Yeah. Really, really light. So. And they are amazing. They are. Sashini got them too. The mm -hmm. dark gray are these also that I was inspired by. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, I love, I love it too. And yes. they do, they crochet well. I bought the same thing you get, I think, eight of them for like nine dollars or so on Amazon. Yeah. Um, and it's really lightweight as well. And they're not fat, like they're you know, they're comfortable to hold. They have the flat um, piece here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so whether you're a knife holder or a pencil holder. It works for both, but um, I I honestly had no com I have no complaints for these ones either. They're not heavy, and they're really good for the for the knife holder who like to hold it like a knife. That's really really nice because they have big space for that. Yeah. Yep. Yep. The mm -hmm. only thing I recommend with the one that the last one Melissa showed, the one that was kind of shiny, is you write your your stitch number on there somewhere with a magic marker because it will come off. Yeah. But yeah, your um the number to your the hook because right here, let me see, in black it's hard to see. But there you go. Yeah, yeah. I see it. I see it. it I runs right off. There. Yeah. Um. So yeah, you might maybe want to put it in the back or up here with permanent, like thin permanent sharpie or yeah. something. Um, this is what I did with mine because mine it was the numbers the it was racing. Out. Yeah, and that yeah, one's right the, here. It's like silver pink kind mm -hmm. of, you know. Um, now, if you're a knife holder, these aren't for you. What? Those hooks. I'm a knife holder. Well, you tell me I'm a, I'm, I. Well, it just depends how, 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 how hard you hold the hook. <laughs> yeah. Um, you, well, you said I'm also, what did you call me, Sistine? You said I'm a knife holder. So but I'm, I'm a pencil holder, but I hold it like a, what did you say? Like you're playing a violin. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. In my in the front of the needle, the needle's always facing me, like how a pencil holder does. I do both, I guess. Um, Marshall, yes. Can um you're talking about the white fish you need, can you post the link to this one with the deep throat? Yeah. Or are they all in last week's video? Jen's asking. Uh -oh. No. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> no, I will yeah, yeah, we we wait we will put that you do your own. We will put them in there. And then I have two more of the white row here. Um, Can I say something about them hooks right quick, though? Yeah, go right ahead. The ones that I'm going to share the link on? Yeah. Um, one, those well. hooks work real good with cotton yarn, too. They do. They really do. Yep. Um, and it's then basically like ones. sugars and cream and peaches and cream, the hundred percent cotton. Yeah, it slides right off like butter. It slides right off. Like it just doesn't, because I know a cotton, a lot of cotton sometimes certain needles it makes that squeaky noise. I don't like. I hate that. Um, but I didn't get. I don't get that with those at all. With any yarn, with that acrylic or cotton. That's the link to those hooks in the bag that Melissa showed. And right now they're eleven dollars and thirty three cents on Amazon. And if they're so worth it, I promise you will love them. Yes, Angerine, I was watching you, and you do. I think we hold it the same exact way. And you um, get um, you get eight hooks. You get some darning needles in a little case, which are metal. You get a pair of snips, which really work. They work good. And you get some plastic stitch markers. Yep, And you get the bags. And the bag is it's not as good. I love it. The zipper's great. Like it doesn't now the next anything. ones I'm going to be sharing are going to be what I call the animal hooks. <laughs> these two. She'll share these two. 
Mm, yeah, because yeah. this uh, you uh, everyone is a different top, whether it's a dragon or a cat or a different yeah. bird. These ones, this set, they're all cats. Yeah. So, so Jeannie's dropping the links to all of those. Or to both of those ones, too. Um, I have two more. So this white row of double crochet here. I purchased these, uh, a whole bunch of these off of Amazon. They're no name brand, um, like plastic cooks, cooks. I don't know if they're resin or plastic, to be honest. But <clears throat> And I never really use them. Um, so I used, I did, I've never used them. I've just been sitting in my drawer. And they come with some really big hooks, too. So this is my first time using these hooks with this. And I really, I thought it was going to be that I wasn't going to like it because it was plastic. Mm. And I just, I don't I like my metal hooks, you know. But um, they crocheted up really well. And I think I got like a 15 pack of these like a year and a half ago. Um, it was like in a plastic tube off Amazon. If I can find it, I will share that on my community tab um, later or tomorrow. But I don't know if I can find it that far back in my history. But um, so sometimes no matter where you get it or how cheap the crochet hook is, it don't judge it because this one crocheted really, really well. I had no issues with it. Mm. My yarn didn't make noises. It didn't snag on my yarn. It crocheted really well. And lastly, um, the blue row up here. I bought these probably about a year ago, a whole set of them. These were my first um, ergonomic hooks. Um, I, I like how they crochet. But what I don't like is with these ones, if you see where it cuts off this, sometimes some of them are short, cut off like the clay, clay, whatever you want to call it. The clay, yeah. Yeah, it's cut off like I showed you ladies the one night. And some of them are up here. Like they're all uneven. Um, and it's like not like it blends in like, okay, this one blends in. This one someone else made. So it doesn't, bother, you know, this one, they just took a knife and cut. Mm. Do you see it? Yeah. So like it just it's really uncomfortable depending on it's uncomfortable to hold hold. So I see, find I myself holding it. That being a pencil holder because where the polymer You're plays out that it's gonna start burying um uh, burying burying into my hands yeah. and it's gonna start hurting. I can't I yeah. can't do that with those hooks. You welcome, Ali Joe. Yeah. yeah, it does. It starts. To, um, I was trying to find the other yeah. ones that she was talking about, but I can't see them. HD says box hooks look like the Odyssey shape at the top, I think. Um, I don't know. But um, Zoila, you said which is my favorite out of them all? Um, the, oh, the Knit Pro. What am I thinking? I put the Knit Pro back. That's why I'm looking at my, my pile like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> the Knit Pro. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was my favorite. Was that they were $25 a piece. They were on sale. And I think somebody yeah, said they figured I had one for like 20 Oh, Lord. Tell her, give me yeah. my five, $15 back. <laughs> I, there you go. You can take me off my But these are my favorite. Um, Again, most of these are... <clears throat> I can, Monetary value, very affordable. They crochet well. They're lightweight. Um, I've paid money for other hooks, more money for other hooks, um, which are heavier. They snag on yarn. I don't, you know, so sometimes it's not really what it costs. It's more the name that you're paying for, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, there's my um, No more solo, Janie. No more solo, Janie. I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to find out something right quick because um no you don't find nothing you, you find it out once you take it off so long no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, so I know sorry I didn't do thank it last week yeah sorry yeah but I mean this is our our opinion you know Everyone's in books and the way we do our designs you know everyone can have different opinions different ways they work hey it's fine find your own way how you can read your this i mean the parties or how you can make it your own design or what hook this could great for you you know yep, because everyone everyone who i mean hold the hooks different 
Because there's books that I like that V don't like or that V likes that I don't like. We had just we all are different and, and same with you all. What we what we try to do is we try to go out and purchase um certain hooks or books or stuff. You hear you see Mirabelle, you're spicy tonight, V. Um <laughs> and bring forth this stuff with our personal opinions. But there's times that between our three ladies we have different opinions. I like something that Jeannie don't like yeah. or vice versa, Jeannie and V. But it all depends on you. You're like we like that new yarn at Michael's, and I don't like it. See? I like it. I love that yarn. Yep. He loves yeah. it. I, I hate mean, it. he loves it, and Jeannie. Hates it. So same with yarn hooks. We're all so different. So please don't take any of what we're saying too hard and get you know offensive or defensive, and you know because you may love the hook that we don't like. You may hate the hook that we love. You know, it just we're all different. Yeah, I mean that's now let me okay, tell you I really with you. you're welcome, Mama J. Yeah, yeah. I have three more sets I mean, of those hooks in Indianapolis, Indiana, that's been there since October the sixth. Did you ever contact them? That's the three that they replaced. Oh my goodness. And they're still sitting there though? And they're still sitting there, so I'm gonna have to contact FedEx. And get them to search for my package so it can get here. And when I get them, y'all know what'll happen. I hear maybe a giveaway. And, and I'm them talking about the knit pros. Talking about these bad boys right here. Oh, yes. they're beautiful. And I, I, I'm gonna tell you, everyone. Though that's the and best I've ever been trying. Indianapolis, tried. Indiana, since October the sixth. If anybody's close to Indianapolis, Indiana, go knock on FedEx and tell them to send me my darn hoops. <laughs> she got three more of <laughs> you. <laughs> uh, look at Soila Maribel. V is always spicy. Hey. Yes, Andrea. Yes. Yeah, I'll I don't use the same hooks all the time. It depends on what I'm crocheting and what type of yarn I'm using. And there's yeah. times I'll start with one and I'm not feeling it. So I'll take it out. You know, usually you know when you first start. So you you haven't done mm -hmm. much. And I'm like, I don't like the way this is crocheting for what I'm doing in the yarn. So I'll swap it out. You know? Yeah. But thank everybody so for what everybody's tonight. thinking about what they see tonight. Yeah, I feel you like are. I did a bad job with the pattern. What? No. Why do you think that, sis? I think I was stuttering, didn't know what I was talking about when I did mine. <laughs> no, I mean, it, 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 I feel it, like I just didn't for, do it any justice, and like I didn't explain it good or something. No, you did. You did. You definitely explained it. Yeah. I, yeah, I mean, I like when the people myself. they really. We all do that. Hey, I, I, I mean, for me, our, I, I, we are our worst <laughs> uh, critiques. I should say we are the worst. I'm ourselves. my own worst enemy, y'all. There you go. You oh said it. I can't God. even talk anymore. You took the words from my mouth. I was trying <laughs> to say. I'm like, we are our worst. <laughs> we are our worst. <laughs> that word will go. <laughs> Get that word out of your mouth, lady. I'm done. <laughs> Hey, Andrea, everybody said the Maribel. Maribel, I can't say it like Veronica. No, Maribel. Oh, my gosh. Look at the peppers. Look at, look at. That's this V right there, peppers. Thank what? you, Maribel. That's the word. That's the word. I can't even talk anymore. Oh, Lord. There we go. Oh, you heard, I was trying to well, say it. not. Our worst critic. critic, yep. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. But hey, I mean, I'm going to say this was this is amazing life, you know. Uh, we share what we learn, and we receive your opinion to us. You know, you have better idea than us. Hey, that's welcome. Yeah. You know? I learned a lot from yeah. both of you ladies as well, honestly, and I appreciate it. I learned so much from the chat. Like, er, there were so many good ideas thrown out there today and suggestions while doing, like, the play that would make things easier um, or, you know, when you both were sharing. All of those suggestions and stuff, that helps because that helps me think. Like, I don't think outside the box half the time, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I learned mm -hmm. so much. Yeah, I mean. You know, we don't. Yeah, we, and we. we we're teaching, but we're also learning ourselves too, y'all. 
Absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just like Sabrina yeah. suggested putting a stitch mark on the right side of your work. You know, yeah. just little mm -hmm. tidbits like that helps a lot. You know, don't get yeah. discouraged about something that you're working on because you keep forgetting which side you're on or anything like that. Just do something as simple as that to make it easier. Yeah. 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 Thank I mean, you, Marcella. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Sabrina, I am my worst critic, baby. I've always been like that, yeah. I, I yep. Yeah. And you all don't forget, yeah. um, don't forget, it's pinned there, but it's also on um this V's channel, right? The mm -hmm. mystery bag. And I think we have it on all of our posts as well and all of our social media platforms. All three of us have the mystery bags. Um all you, we have sixty five dollar ones and forty five dollar ones. All you have to do is email us at Yarny Fiber Sisters at gmail.com. Um, I will be live now. I just want to throw this out there because I threw a Friday in and confused everybody. I'll be live every Tuesday at noon and every Friday at 8.30 p.m. Um, aside from our group. Um, just want to throw that out there. And mine is just only Thursday uh, 12, 12 uh, p.m. Eastern time. So, what she's doing? Uh, Mama this J was asking to know. Uh, Mama J asked, do you ladies have special chairs or back cushions you use when crafting? No, I um, need a back one. This though. is one of those. I wish. I need a back one. <laughs> big things mm -hmm. that they say you can put eggs on and sit on and it won't crack the eggs. Now, I haven't tested it. Oh, Lord, I'm going to be cracked that egg. <laughs> He's like, what is up with these eggs these last two days? Now, I don't know where you can buy up. these from. My husband got this at one of the truck stops. Oh, God. So, I don't know. <laughs> it's called the blue bulbhead.com. So, I guess you can go on bulbhead.com. Or Walmart might sell them because it's that stuff that normally you see as seen on TV. Now, I just oh, yeah. put this in this chair, but I just sit in a regular office chair. Um. No, actually, <laughs> Alice. No, 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 we're not gonna put. We're not wasting no egg, baby. Because uh, trust me, no. I would crack every darn one of. <laughs> Maybe we should do an continuance. Um, Sashini, Allison was, and and this is a good one. The stitch book, like that we have, um, V, that we both have, that you did the your cardigan. Oh, you want me to put the link in there? No, 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 no. Allison was asking, she said, I'm not sure if you showed this before I came on, but how about crochet from the picture with symbols without any words? You know how our book has the words, but it has the picture down at the bottom that shows you. Um, we don't have to do it now, but we could do a continuance because we didn't show that. Right there, that book. She's talking okay. about that. What? Oh, she's yeah, talking about yeah. the diagram. The diagrams, yeah. Oh, the so diagram. We, oh, yeah, okay. We, she's, well, yeah. So um, we did, we I tried to find it. a pattern online that had a, a diagram with it that was free. We're going to have to find one that's free. We can't show these in the book. No. Um, but we'll, we should also, like, maybe next live, even if we don't do the whole pattern, just kind of explain, show them, like, the key it shows you like the circle means the single crochet. You know what I mean? Like the line. But all the lot. keys aren't the same though. No, but they'll know that you look at each pattern. It'll have a key right. with it usually. Yeah. Unless they buy, they find just a random pattern, but. Some of them do, some of them don't. Cause some yeah. of them do. There is a basic diagram stitch guide out there where a chain looks like a chain. A single yeah. is a plus sign. A double crochet is a line with one line through it, you know, and stuff like that. You do have those out there like that that do the standards, but then, you know, people get creative and they create their own diagram. Allison, Allison, uh, if you know how you uh, found about the uh, the uh, diagram doing your stick, I'm going to say this book I recommend it 100%. I really recommend it. It is uh, how much it costs? I think the one like a what twenty nine. I want to say twenty twenty four twenty five. What that twenty five dollars? Yeah, but and that book this is my book favorite. is amazing. 
It has the words. I mean, it's, it's words not, are easy and diagram. Yes, Allison. I, yeah. If we don't do it in the future, I can even do a short video, like and pull up if I can find a free one. I don't know. This thing is usually good with finding the free that one. That book is twenty three sixty nine on Amazon, and it's so worth it. It and Mama J, I ended up getting Tony's on Kindle because she was sold out on her on her um website. And they said December the seventh on Amazon for a book. Well, yeah, Allison, we'll, we'll we can do a we can definitely do a diagram. Yeah. Yep. Sis B would probably be the better one to do diagrams. It'd be hard for Sis B does them good. We I, I could I could help too though, but Sis B is hard for her to um to get the words out to explain it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, she got to learn for me. <laughs> so we'll teach her. <laughs> you can learn while you teach Who's us. Who is spicy now? Who is a spicy now? Somebody is a spicy Mary, now. Drop okay. the peppers for this genie now. Maribel, Maribel, <laughs> throw it the peppers. So I'm going to tell you another good place to look for crochet books from is Goodwill and Salvation Armies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't checked mine in, in a long time, but I need to check because they never used to have crochet, crochet nothing. But I need to go look. So what are we going to talk about next week? Next lady? week we're at my house and we're talking about cakes versus steam and specialty yarns, color control or no, no color control, and the magic knot. Look at yeah. Ella Jo. She, she, she throw the peppers. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Andrea. Yeah. Thank you. I also already scheduled it. So if you would like, you can go to my channel and you can set the reminder to next Saturday's um, live. Yes. And next week. You said what, is, Melissa? What you said you, um, we're doing cakes versus schemes, specialty yarns such as faux fur, eyelash yarn, and what else? Color control and magic, or not. Color control. And then a magic knot. Oh, color control and how to do the magic knot. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I see yeah, Mama Jay. Cool. Yeah, she's catching it. I just did it on Kindle. I had some points in Kindle, so I got it real cheap. Because <laughs> being an Amazon <laughs> yeah, my Prime, you get points when you order certain things. They give you points, and it goes towards your Kindle. Uh, v, V, Allison's asking if you could show the name. It's on Amazon. I can the share new, the link in the chat. Um, Allison. Oh, thank you, Jamie. Jeannie from Butterfly Dreams right here. She's going to share the link in the chat. If you click on it, then it'll take you right to Amazon, to the book. Yeah. Me too, Zoila. I mean, it, it, that book, I mean, I, I've taken this, uh, the stitch for this one. It's for this, uh, the, yeah. the uh, mimosa. That's, that, yeah. that's coming from the book, the stitch. Yeah. yeah. And the diagram is so easy to follow. And it does tell you yeah. what it, each stitch is. If you don't already know what the stitch is, it does have the diet, like the key to tell you. And let me tell y'all some. Don't think that these people <laughs> that's out here creating stuff is coming up with stitches off the top of their head. No, people. No, A people lot of these stitches. Them. They're getting these stitches out of stitch book mm -hmm. because um, why in the world? Mama J said, do you ladies have a special crafting exercise live coming up soon? <laughs> we need one, Mama Riz. We need one. We need one. We need one. We need the we finger need exercise. <laughs> no, We're going to do like no, a Linda's pom-poms. You know, pom-poms with Linda. <laughs> All right, this oh, is a good job. I had to put some of it out so it's showing Chevron's Edgings Green Squares and more, but that is the actual book because the link that I had to click was too long, too many characters. Yeah, yeah that's we the link for that book. Yeah. I always maybe we'll get rid of our flappers if we start doing some arm exercises. <laughs> hey, and exercise your mouth oh, too. Wow. Yeah, and exercise your mouth. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Me and Veronica are going to be the one who's going to exercise. Melissa's not going to exercise. Oh, my God. Stretch, lady. Stretch. 
Oh, we're doing an exercise <laughs> right now. I need oh, it. No, I forget it. <laughs> I'm done. Now stretch it out. Now stretch it out. <laughs> oh, God. I need my oh, bed. I need my bed. I made so many hooks, y'all. I had to stop making them. My dog on hands was hurting and cramping. I woke up oh, one morning, no. couldn't close this one. Zoila's uh, laughing. She said, Jeannie said, dot, dot, dot. These patterns are coming from books. <laughs> <laughs> they are. They're coming from books. They are. They take in the oh, stitch. No. And you can turn a stitch. You can, listen, people take, they name um, Red Heart Log Cabin F skin. And you're like, oh, cool. And you pull it up and all it is, it's three old adults throw the mesh. Three bullion rows take different stitches and put them in their own order. If you look <laughs> at a lot of put a stuff, name to it and that's it. I'm finna show I'm finna <laughs> show y'all a pattern out of a book, stitch pattern out of this book. And I want y'all in the chat to tell me who did a route using this stitch pattern. Can you see it? Just let it focus. <laughs> let it focus. Let it focus. Let it focus. <laughs> there you go. I'm getting out of it. Um, Maribel said we should do five minute exercise every hour. Yep. Now tell me who I did a wrap. The chat. Tell me who did a wrap you using can, that same. Keep freezing, I think. Huh? <laughs> Wait, I need three of them. Stop playing. No comment. <laughs> no, 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 no. They said Crystal, Crystal, there you go. and Andrea said no comment. There you go. That real lacy black wrap that she did for the spring and summertime. This is where she got you it. You can literally, you can take any stitch and do any. This is it. I mean, the more that you have your, the book, you know, you can you can create anything. You know, book yeah. helping you a lot. I'll it, it said no me a lot. She said no comment. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh god! But yeah, yeah. They all do like, yeah. Bad, now, bad, bad. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, some of the things, just like her shawls and ponchos and bagel, they does some amazing work. Y'all, I'm not gonna tell no stories. But her shawls and her ponchos and stuff and everything that she's creating, the only thing she's doing is taking a combination of stitches and putting it into one piece. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's, That's what all she everybody does. I mean, yeah, you're creating a hat. You can you can put too many different stitches in a so. hat and. I mean, they're coming from books, you know. All this is coming from books, so yeah. I mean, that's yeah. that's what I learned. That's the way. That's just like if you, you know? go watch Brenda's tutorial on her brim stitch. You're not gonna find it in a book. That, you can yeah. take that stitch and you can work whatever you want to out of it, and you can name it whatever you want to name it. And it's yours. So you just give welcome, credit Sonia. to where you get the stitch from. Welcome, Soya. You're welcome. Yeah. Because yeah. these are stitch stitches that I have people that book have too. stitch designs that people have came up with. I got that book too, says Jeannie. Hello, Chandra. Hi, Sandra. Mama J, we do have um, <laughs> laundry care coming up um, where we're going to do, we're actually going to talk about the yarn labels and what everything means on yarn labels because every yes. yarn label is different. And we're also going to. Um, you mean that? Yep. And we will yeah. also be yeah. talking about laundry care and what each one means based on the yarn bands. Uh -huh. So, yes, that, that is in the making. Now, yeah. December the 8th, is it the 18th, V? No, it is December uh, the 18th. December what? the 18th uh, is our last live until January yeah. the 8th. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're going to take two weeks off for the holidays. The 18th, we're going to talk about how to package, uh, how to package what we use to package oil items, what we sell in. Mm-hmm. You know, what do you use for? But yeah, but yeah. we, we had too many, too many ideas coming to next year. And one of those is what the uh, Mama J is suggesting about, you know, the laundry care Hi, project. That's, Hi, Chandra. You know, yeah, yeah Marcelle, she said that she says that's what those pitch books are for. And she's right. She's right. Yeah, I mean, you learn a new stitch, I mean that's what you you buy a book to learn a new stitch. And then, it, I mean, nobody can design anything without learning a stitch from somewhere, whether it's a book, whether it's on YouTube, whether it's on, I mean, you can't crochet anything without using the same stitches that we're all mm-hmm. using. You just put it into your own design. Yeah. Yes. So. Somebody took the work out for us and sit there and came up with all these stitch pattern designs and stuff like that. And guess what? They were kind enough to not keep them to themselves and they put them in a book. Jen. And they put them in a book for us to use. <laughs> Jen, can I please have permission to take two weeks off for the holidays? <laughs> when on the fourth, we were supposed to be at Veronica's house, but we'll be here at my house. Because she's going to be driving back from Florida. She's going to see Brenda and going to um, Disney World. Lucky ducky. Disney World. I'm not going to Disney World. No. I don't have babies. You're going to Universal Studios. Universal, Universal Studios, Studios. Disney, all in one. <laughs> uh, yes. I'm going to see my oh, yes, mom and the Wonder Woman. Mama yeah. Red, that makes, that makes my heart like feel so warm, like because that's what we intend to do. We learn from you all, you all learn from us, and I just love unless you. unless the good Lord work. calls me home suddenly, we're gonna continue to do this. And even if He does call me Happy home, early early, I hope my sisters will keep it up in honor of me. Absolutely, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> You're no. not going nowhere. We yeah, not going nowhere. Tomorrow's not promised to any of us. No. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. But but I'm optimistic. But yeah. Okay. Um, we we are going to take a two weeks break because every hey, two weeks break, we're going to come back like ready to continue. Right. And the know? week that and we come back, it's going to be more of a less catch up day. When we come back the eighth, yeah. we don't have a, a specific like review or something to teach it's more like hey what's everyone been up to let's chat let's have coffee let's catch up yeah and, maybe and remember the last can get some tutorials crochet uh tutorials recorded yep and we can we're still start working we still we working yeah oh that's yeah, what we by I'm that gonna time i'll have my dog on internet i'm definitely gonna hopefully you better <laughs> <laughs> we gonna fly and put they it up right they ran the fiber optic. I don't know what else. They ran all the cables, but I don't know what oh, else they no, have to no, do. No. They oh, said no, that no. we would have it all in our homes by the end of the third quarter. Well, that's next month. So I'm hoping that we have it by the end of December. Good. We need that. Yeah. Maybe so what is the last... Them. What is the last date for the giveaway? Is the 27th. 27th. November the 27th is your last day to submit pictures for the fall giveaway. Yep. And we will I'm be not- picking the winners on December oh. the 4th. Mm-hmm. Now, what we're going to do, because Veronica and them are going to be driving back home on that day, she's going to be live with us, but you know how phone service is. And if they hit any backwoods, then she may lose service. What we're going to do is I'm going to pull my winner. And Melissa's going to pull her winner. We're going to put those names back in our bucket. And one of us will pull Veronica's winner from our bucket. Because we're all going to have the exact same names in every bucket. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. If that is if that is a happen and I gonna be back home and you know in that time because probably we 
it used to been all the traffic and everything, you know, but just in, in Honolulu, my internet. I hopefully uh be here kind of the soon we start the live, you know, I hopefully, you know, but this is just all the right. traffic. So, but yeah. Ooh, that light is bright. <sighs> yeah. Yes, so. but um, we're we're coming back strong next year. I would say September yeah. through now through our time this year is is like I said, we're educating y'all on a lot of things, but we're also educating ourselves and we're learning as we're teaching because we learn from y'all just as well as y'all learn from us. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, Thank we you, have so learned a lot yeah. since we've started doing this. One thing I've learned is I got to get better. Well, I'm organized. I just got to write my stuff down and stick to it. Yeah. And it's going to be yep. kind of like, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> um, Sabrina, so for the last few months, we've had the fall giveaway. And so when you make like one of... Um, current projects like so like these hats that the ones you've been coming out with so many people have made those the bobble hats um there's been a couple of them or like this genie's wall um stitch marker i can't even talk anymore <laughs> stitch marker wall hanger um <laughs> you can use any of the tutorials or stitch tutorials on our channel but it's got to be current things um fall items so when you do that you submit a picture to our group email yarny fiber sisters at gmail.com and we take those pictures and uh, we show them during a live. We make a, you know, a slide. V makes the slideshow usually, and show, or whatever she does, and she shows everyone's projects. But each item you complete is an entry into the fall giveaway. So, um, but we're all going to have a bucket. So every time you enter a project, you're actually entering each one of our giveaways once. So that's three entries for one item mm -hmm. to be made. Did See, I if you make it, if you, yeah, no, that's right. Uh, Sabrina, if uh, you finish something like a baby blanket, like uh, I want to say, like uh, last week, you know, there's just just something for you just stuff, to really yeah. finish. Yeah, send them the picture to the email, and and I we will share and we put your name in the bucket. Or oh, did you finish a baby hat last week? Send them that picture, and we will put your name in the bucket too. Yeah. Now I'll be doing a members only video next week where I will be drawing some winners from my members for their giveaway. On the 27th, Sabrina, is the deadline to have pictures submitted. Sorry. Yeah. And and my and my um uh when I get in Florida, this will be a surprise that you are my member. Also um any member of mine, send me your address by email. I need all my Butterfly no, Squad Sabrina. members to send me their mailing address to my email. And Sabrina, no, it doesn't have to be. If you use one of the tutorials or if you make whatever, um, anything, any, anything, any, any piece, anything, like, yeah, yeah. Finish piece is fine as long as it's current. Yeah. If you... Anything you make that is in fall colors or something like that, send it in. Sorry, I gotta head out in a minute, yeah. ladies. My daughter, I just, that's why I muted it. Um, my daughter's out there, so I appreciate <laughs> well, everybody. Well, I can't wait for the new year, baby. I have to do. I have to start planning now. <laughs> and me too. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty well, much. Everyone, out. thank you. Yeah. yeah, next week. Thank you, everybody. Thank yeah. you. Had so much ready fun for tonight. Next week. We made a four hour mm -hmm. live, ladies. Woo! It was a long no, time. Thank y'all so much. Good night. Y'all have a good night. We love y'all. Yep. Thank y'all for always being here. Thank y'all for always supporting us, three ladies, and all the other people Absolutely. that y'all support out here in the YouTube streets. Let's continue to uplift, empower, motivate, and encourage one another. Yeah, have a good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Love you. Good night, everybody. Bye.